Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's time, y'all. It's time, y'all. Oh, this day I've been waiting for for a long time. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Ooh, buddy. What's going on, everybody? It's the granddaughter. Granddad Willie with the homie Yoshi. You know what time it is. Tournament time. <laughs> the official. The official Smash Ultimate CPU Cup Champions Tournament is underway. Robert Guard, I see you champ in the building. Serial Sensei, Mr. 30 for 30. Kevin here. Me for she. I see you. J Bob, what's good? Okay. Y'all. You see it. You see it draped over my shoulder. This is what's this this is what it is. The 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 the, the amount of time that it took to get to this point, y'all. I wanna just thank everybody for supporting the CPU Cup for over a year. Over a year, y'all have been supporting the Smash Ultimate CPU Cup, whether you participated or you just watched. I just want you, I appreciate you for us getting to this point so I can be able to do something like this for the people, for the champions. Man, and this this is gonna be a good time, y'all. Now, let's, 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 let's go back. Let's go back in time. And let's break this down. Now we got 16 viable competitors, all except for one, all except for one, who earned their way via a championship victory in the CPU Cup. Some multiples, some got three timers. Let's go, Yoga. Now, over that time, we built up, we, we created crazy storylines, crazy rivalries. All kinds of nonsense on the way, and it's been an amazing journey to this point. To this, the undisputed. I'm gonna get it right because I'm, I'm terrible at doing this. The undisputed Smash Ultimate CPU Championship title, bro. Let me let me take right there. Look, look at the side plate. Thousand hours, baby. The Smash logo. Just look, 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 look. I don't play around. I don't, I don't fuck around. I don't fuck around. And we did a Fidero. Yeah, you're right, Mike. We did a Fidero. It's, it's been a journey. But look, y'all. We got one more stop in this journey. And that's this stop right here. To cap it all off to the ultimate, the ultimate version of Raiden. Darian from Asheville, champion here. I see you. Puppy Enemy B, champion here. I see you. Mike Rich, champion here. I see you. Speaking of, let's, 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 let's go through who the champions are. We'll go back to our starting soon stream real quick, y'all. So, our Champions Cup. We got the GOAT. The Ogin, Public Enemy B, Bebo513, or known now, or new name, Gasface. I will still call him Bebo though, but Gasface513, but Bebo. Kevin, DW, 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 not Bloodbath. Robin Guard, Yu Yu Kun, Mike Rich227, All Hell Chill, 9 1 Darby. Produced by Michael, DeGrandeza, Darian from Asheville, Kimono P, Darrow from Target, Belly Ocean, and Icky Boop. Now, I bet you're wondering, Icky Boop. Why, why is why is Icky Boop in the tournament, Granddad? Well, let me talk to you. So, I had to reach out to all the prior tournament champions. And there's one missing from the list that I, for some reason, I couldn't get in contact with. I don't know. I hope he's doing well, wherever he is. But, uh, Cool Chris 16. I couldn't get a hold of him. I tried everything, every, every avenue I could find, and I got nothing. Um... So, Cool Chris 16, wherever you are, I'm sorry you couldn't make it. I hope you're doing well, whatever's going on. But with that being said, Iggy Boop, who was our runner-up in our wild card tournament, lucked out, and she is now filling in that spot as the runner-up in the wild card championship. So we got Queen Energy in here still, y'all. I love it. I love it. Woo! So, y'all, today, y'all, all 16 of y'all are going to be duking it out. For three hundred dollars, all to yourself. Three hundred, three hundred. But money's good. But this is what you really want. This is what you really want. The undisputed Smash Bros. Ultimate CPU Cup Championship title. Three hundred's good. That three hundred's gonna go though. This is gonna last forever. As, as long as you don't fuck it up. 
what this gonna last. This gonna go on your shelf. It's gonna go on your trope. You gonna walk around butt naked with this on. I'm just saying. <laughs> Please don't do that. Well, I'm doing what you want. <laughs> All right. Woo. Look, Jay Denim, I don't play around. Look, y'all y'all think I play around about mine? Look, I'm, when I'm serious about something, I'm serious about something. Hmm. I'm serious about something. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this blood is clean. I don't want to get up. I might make it. I might make another one for myself. This is the one and only right now, though. This is this is this is beautiful thing. So it's gonna be on my shoulder the whole tournament, y'all. Whole tournament. So y'all can constantly see what you're looking for. <sighs> All right, y'all. So with that being said, I'm giving some time for people to get up in here because there's some champions I'm not seeing yet. I, I don't I don't I don't see a few champions up in here that that needs to be champ that needs to be present and accounted for. So we only give it some time. But here's how it's gonna work, y'all. Now, if y'all were here for our wild card qualifier tournament a few weeks back. Which was a great tournament, mind you. Congrats to Belly Ocean for winning that tournament. And also, thanks to everybody who uh, participated, well, who qualified and put on a good show. But the way that that broke down is we did a positional draft. Well, basically, I got it. And it can't go cap. And it can't go cap. I got numbers. I pick you, I pick a number. And that number represents your spot in the bracket as well as what spot you're going to pick your characters now let's go to the actual rule set yo koi kid what's up it's koi what up koi you know what i'm saying yeah koi yeah this, the winner gets this i'm gonna send this directly to the winner whoever wins this tournament no matter where you at this will be yours this will be yours let's go to the rules yo i'm gonna read the rules the official rules though since we here all right y'all so we're gonna we're gonna break it down and we'll break it down as time goes. Because I want to give more people a chance to get up in this thing. Hopefully, hopefully if you win this thing, you win this chat. Each entrant has provided five characters to represent them in the tournament. So, I reached out to all the entrants. said, give me five characters from Smash that you will want to play for you. Just five. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now, before the tournament, a position draft will occur where entrants will find out what number in the bracket they will be placed. That number will also represent the order entrance will be picked, will pick their character. I.e., if you drafted at number one, then you get the number one pick of the character and you're the first spot in the bracket. Got it? Got it. If you remember the wild card tournament, that's how it went. Now, entrance who, now here's, here's where things get a little tricky or different. Entrance who have earned three tiremen. So if you earn three tiremen, I'm talking Diogen, I think Bebo. Public Enemy B and Kev. I think they're only they're the only ones who did uh got three retirement. If you get three retirement, when I pick a number for you, you have a re-roll option or a re-pick option. So let's say I pick a number for Diogen and he gets 14 and he don't like that. I can re-roll and re-pick a number for him to get him a better number. Now, it's the other way around. If he gets seven and he says, I want to use my re-roll, and then he picks 15, he got 15. So it's an option, but it's pretty much a double dip for the retirement folk. You know what I'm saying? Icky Book Queen in here. Icky, look, you got lucky. You got lucky. All right. Look, hopefully, one person's loss is your gain today. But I appreciate you being up in here, Icky. Um, so yeah, so that's what so all, that's only for the people who have earned three retirement. So like I said, Diogen, Kev, uh, Public Enemy B, and Bebo, I believe, are the only ones who have reached the, the level of uh, three retirement. Now like I said, when you use that re-roll, whatever you get on that re-roll is your number. All right? So it ain't like, a, oh, let me pick which one. I won't know. You can either stick with your number, or if you got a gut feeling you can get a better number by random, you can re-roll it. That's only for them. And if they show up, wherever the hell the nigga's at, uh, I will explain it to them again. Now, here's the Icky Boo. This is good for you because I'm going to break this down. If a former champion has not confirmed their place... The runner-up from the wild card tournament will fill in their spot. That wild card runner-up, seeing as they have not officially won a CPU cup, will automatically be placed in the 16th slot and receive last character pick. So, Icky Boo, with that being said, since you're here, since you didn't win a CPU cup officially, but you're in this tournament because you were the runner-up, a caveat to that is you are number 16 in the bracket and you get the last character pick. Okay, so 16 is not even in the in the hat. It's automatically Icky Boop at 16. All right, that's 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 the trade off. That's the trade off for the situation. Okay, but we still love you, Icky. We still love you. All right, 
And you never know, that might be the one. Still, 16 might be the number. You never 16 has won before. So it's, it's not like he's gonna be out of this thing, but that's how it's gonna go. Alright, now, here's the other thing. If an entrant is present in the stream, they can choose one character from their list via the chat to play for them. So if you in the chat and you in the tournament, I'm gonna say, hey, Bell, what character do you want? Not now, Bell, but Bell, what character do you want from your list? And you'll let me know. And then if someone picks a character and that same character is on your list, then you can't pick that character no more. So if Bell picks Lucas again, then let's say Mike Rich had Lucas, he can't pick Lucas because Bell already picked him, so we gotta pick somebody else from his actual list. That's how it goes, all right? And after that, standard CPU cup rules apply. Three stocks, no time limit, Omega stages, and uh, fight to the death. And that's what it is, y'all. Here we go. Woo, look at that. Look, look Icky. Look, now, 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 wouldn't it be dope if Icky Boot won this? Like, Icky Boot just came in, and we and we got our first queen, and her first queen is actually has has a crown in a way, in the form of this title. Come on now. Right? Beautiful. Beautiful scenario. But the bell, this could be your suit. There. Hero, yes, and Hero is still a band. Hero, DDD, and Rosalina are all still banned. Them, just because it's a champion's tournament, don't even know niggas can show up. But yeah, Hero still. Now, here's the thing with Darian from Asheville. Darian from Asheville is the reason why Hero is banned. Now, we love Darian. We love you, bro. Uh, and you won. You won the first rollover pot, but you won with Hero in uncomfortable, uncomfortably dominant fashion to the point where I had to ban the nigga because he was just doing too much. But uh, yeah, did D to D dirty? Nah, man, fuck D to D. Nah, D to D pissed me off. D to D pissed me off. All right, but look, there's plenty. All right. Thank, thank you, Icky Boo. Thank you. That's what I mean. I, I, I pride myself in, in organizing things in a very, very proficient and official way. I want to make sure that y'all having a good time. Kevin, this bitch, what up? DW, DW, DW. Kev, you ready? Look, Kev, look, here's the thing. If Kev wins this this tournament, y'all, I gotta, I'll, I'll personally deliver this myself to Kev. I'll personally deliver it in person to Kev. But I already know from this point on, every time we watch Dead End Gaming, he's gonna have this title and he's gonna be the tribal chief of DEG. And he's gonna be like, acknowledge me. And I'm gonna acknowledge him because I respect it. I'm just letting you know, Kev gonna be acting different if he get this title in his hand. If he get this title on his shoulder, that man gonna be acting all kinds of different. <laughs> I'm here for it though. I'm here for it. The GOAT is finally here. What up, Diogen? I was waiting for you. I'm wait I'm waiting to see. I wanna get all the people in here. So let me let me look and see who's here. So let's see. Diogen's here, Mike Rich is here, Kev's here, Icky Boop's here, Robin Guard's here, Darian, you're here, Bell's here. Uh, Bebo, you're here. Hey, Icky Boo, thank you for the hundred bitties. Appreciate it. Appreciate the love, Icky Boo. Um, and that's it so far. So we're still, oh, Public Enemy B, you're here. I see you. Um, yeah. So we still got some, some champions. So I don't see 9-1 Darby. I don't know where Darby at. He, he, he confirmed his, his spot. But Darby not here. I'm not seeing Kimono P up in here what up sober sober i see you uh who else ain't up in here who are you you coon where's you you coon like i want uh look 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 look, look. we got we got champions here hold on let's see who we miss real quick i'm gonna start this draft though so yeah we still need you you coon up in here where's all hell chill where is is darrow up in here where's darrow how are we gonna do it for darrow when he ain't up in here he gonna show that see, see niggas gonna be late it's all good so I'm going to still give it some time, but I got to start the draft, y'all, because you can't be here forever waiting. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start the positional draft with the individuals who are already here. Now, Kev, Kev, Diogen, I think you're all, Kev, Diogen, Public Enemy B, and Bebo, y'all are all in the chat. So listen, since y'all all earned three retirement, I'm going to start the picks with y'all. Now, because y'all earned three retirement, you have a re-pick option or re-roll option. So let's say I pick a number for you and it's a high number and you don't like it. Like, let's say I pick for Diogen. Like I said, I picked 15 for Diogen. And you're like, nah, I don't like that. I want to get a, I want to get a better number to re-roll re for me. I can go back and pick another number for Diogen and he'll get that number instead. However, 
if you want to gamble, Diogen, let's say you pick seven. You're like, mm, I want to get possibly a closer number. Let me pick again, and then you end up with 12. Well, then you stuck with 12, bruh. Get it? Produce my Michael. I see you. Champ in the building. So that's only for the ones who got three tired. Remind you. So that's Kev, Diogen, Public Enemy B, and Bebo. Everybody else just gets one pick. Whatever I pick, that's what you get. And also, because Icky Booth is in the tournament replacing Cool Chris, she didn't win an official t uh, championship, so she's automatically in spot 16 and gets the last pick. That's her That's her trade-off for being in the tournament. So Icky Booth automatically is at 16. All right. So with that being said, we're going to get this draft going. So we're going to start off with the GOAT. The Ogin. Gonna start off with you, bro. Remember, you got a reroll option, fam. So I got the Kango cap, and I wrote in Sharpie this time so y'all can see the numbers, y'all. Let's shake it up. Let's shake it up. Let's shake it up. Shake it. Shake it up. Put it in the Kango cap. Okay. Diogen, this could be you if you choose, if you decide. All right, Diogen. So your first number is. You know, I should have put a thing up. Yeah. Here it is. Nine. I can't pick. Diogen, your first number is nine. Now, do you want to re-roll or do you want to stick with nine? Let me know, Diogen. Is nine good for you or you want to try it again? Re-roll that? All right, we're going to re-roll for Diogen. Diogen, I hope you didn't fuck it up for yourself. I hope you didn't fuck it up for yourself, bro. All right, here we go. Now, Diogen, this is officially you. All right. Yogan, you went from nine. <laughs> Good. You went up a little bit. You went from nine to six. <laughs> you done flipped the numbers. All right, so Diogen is at number six. The goat. It's got the number six pick. All right. So hold on. Let me let me make a note of this. I'm gonna make a note of this. All right, Diogen's good with it. Let me make a note of this so I can know who's got what spot before we get too uh, too far and I start losing my losing myself. I'm losing myself. All right, so Diogen is six. All right. So, next one. DW, Kev, let's go. We're going to do it for DW. All right, Kev, remember, you got to re-roll as well. Not bloodbath. Tower, so many number, tower, power. So many names, so many aliases. But it's you, if you choose, Kev. All right, Kev. All right, so, not bloodbath. 14, Kev, 14. I think you might want to re-roll that, fam. You might want to re-roll that one if you want. You want to keep it or you want to re-roll? Excuse me. Let me know. Roll again. All right. See, it pays to be in retirement, y'all. See? It pays to be in retirement. Here we go. All right, Kev. Kev, this you. Wait. No, we're going to do it again. I, I'm a dummy. I put the number back. I got 14 again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not supposed to put the number back in the, in the hat. Here we go. This is you, Kev. My bad. All right. All right, Kev. Your real new number. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. Number two. That's a good re-roll, Kev. That's a good re-roll. All right, Kev with the number two spot. All right. Just trying to, nah, I ain't trying to make Kev win. <laughs> it ain't rigged. It ain't rigged. Who's to say that's going to, look, that don't mean that Kev going to win, y'all. Y'all up here mad for no reason. I can't have him re-roll and pick the same number. That was my, I wasn't, I, look, Diogen, if I did that for you, you would be like, wait, nah. What if I did that for you, Diogen? <laughs> I need you to pull the numbers next time. I probably do. Okay, here we go. So here. That number's out. Let's go. All right, y'all. We in here. We in here. <laughs> so, so we gotta pay a hundred dollars. Stop being a petty, deal. I'm a, look. I'm gonna send that shit media. Man. I'm gonna send that shit the slowest. I'm gonna send that shit snail mail. You gonna get that shit in three months? Keep talking with me, deal. <laughs> all right. Who's next? Is Public Enemy B? Another three retirement. We doing all the three retirement folk first. All right, Public Enemy B. Here we go. That's you. Possibly. All right, public enemy B. Number 12. 
Number 12, Public Enemy B. So what do you want to do? Do you want to re-roll or you want to keep it? All right, Bebo, you next, so you hopefully. All right, Public Enemy B. Let me know. Keep it. Okay, he wants to keep his 12. All right, he's going with 12. All right, bold move, Public Enemy B, but he says keep it. All right. Bebo, you said you want that number one spot. Trying to get that ludicrous. All right. Last one. Boom. Bebo this year. Possibly. Not bad. It ain't number one, but it's, it's number four. Number four. Bebo with number four. You want that, Bebo? You want four? You want to you wanna try your luck again and try to get for that one? Let me know, Bebo. I, if I wish, I, I mean, I'm just saying. It's on you. It, it'll be a, it'll be you versus, uh, who's number three? I don't think I got number three. You good with that? Okay, cool. Bebo is good with four. All right. All right. Let me, let me make a note. All right, y'all. So that is all the three time and folk. That is all the three time and folk. Hold on. Public Enemy B, where you at on my list? Here you go. Make sure. All right, so to recap, we have so far... Kev is at number two. The Ogans at number six. Public Enemy B is at number 12. And Bebo is at number four. Okay, so the number one spot is still out there. Number one spot still out there. Okay, y'all. We're going to go in the chat now. Let's do my man Robin Guard. Because he was the first one in the chat. I saw him. He was the first one here. Let's get him. Robin Guard, this you. All right, we're shaking it up. All right, Robin Guard. Let's see what you get. Robin Guard to shoot. All right. Yo, the Ogans lost is your game. You got number nine. Robin Guard gets that number nine that the Ogan roll. All right. So number nine spot goes to Robin Guard. All right. So. All right, you good with that? All right. So next up, let's see who's next. Let's let, let, let's go back. People who've been here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We gonna do Mike Rich. My man, Mike Rich. Mike Rich in this bitch. All right, Mike Rich. Hold on. I shit fell. I'm shaking a little too hard, y'all. Okay, here we go. I wanna make sure I get it nice and mixed up. Here we go. All right. Mike Rich issue. All right, Mike Rich. All right, my rich. All right. Number seven. Number seven, Mike Rich. Mike Rich with number seven. All right. Mike Rich 727 with the seven. See, it's all in, it's all in your name. Man. All right. All right, let's put that down in the notes. Boom. All right. All right, y'all. Let's see who's next in this thing. Who next in this thing? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do. Let's do Mr. I Got Hero Band. We're going to do Darian from Asheville. Darian from Asheville. You made Hero get banned. But hopefully you can get a good number in your head. Bars. Here you go, Darian from Asheville. This is you. This is you. All right. The number 10 spot for Darian from Asheville. He gets number 10. That's you. All right, let's write it down. Let's put it in there. All right. All right, here we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You know what? Queen energy, y'all. No, 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 no. Icky Boo's already been decided. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Icky 16. Icky 16, I'm sorry. You gotta be. Not Queen energy. I just saw, I was just going down and listen. I saw your name. All right, so we're going to skip Icky because she's already been decided. Bell, we're going to go with the, the wild card champion. The wild card champ, Bell E. Ocean, who won with that demon, that demon Lucas. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Bell, this you. You know, fishing for a good one, trying to. Not bad. Bell gets the number five spot. He plead the fifth. He plead the fifth. All right. 
So Bell gets number five. Now look, I gotta relook at the chat if some people uh, showed up. Cause there's still some people up in here. There's still some people up in here who ain't who ain't here to to to, to let me know. If they in, let's see, let's see. Produced by Michael, you here. So we're gonna do my man produced by Michael. You next. Alright. It's by Michael. Let's see. This you. Alright, produced by Michael. Sitting great at number eight is produced by Michael. Alright. Alright. Okay, y'all. So, I plead. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now let's 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 look at this. Let's look at this board now. So these are the individuals who have yet to show up, but I still got to pick for them. So I'm gonna have to run down the so. No Kimono P, no Degrandeza, no All Hell Chill, no Yu Yu Kun. All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Nine One Darby. Okay, so we're missing 9-1 Darby. We're missing Yu Yu Kun, Chill, DeGrandeza, Kimono P, and Daryl from Target. All right, so look. I'm going to roll for them, yep. So, because we got to get this thing going. So look, they had their chance to be present. So we're going to start at the top of this. We're going to go with my man 9-1 Darby. All right, Darby. You ain't here, but we gonna roll for you. And if you ain't, and here's the thing, if they not here by the time I go to the, get to them for their character picks, I'm picking their characters for them too. Darby this you. And Darby gets 14. Darby gets the 14 that was re-rolled out. All right, so Darby sits at 14. All right, so that still gives Darby plenty of time to get in this chat and, and, and be able to pick his character because he's not the number one spot. All right. All right, so next on the list, we're going to do Yu Yu Kun. Yu Yu Kun. It should have got here soon. Now I'm about to pick a number, and it could be either Prosperity or Doom. <laughs> I got bars. All right, here we go. Yu Yu Kun issue. All right, Yu Kun. Yu Yu Kun, number 11. I thought it was number one real quick, y'all, because I saw the one, but number 11 for Yu Yu Kun. All right. Number one is still avoid this, y'all. Who's going to pick number one? I got a feeling it's going to be Darrow. I feel like Darrow's going to get number one. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But Yu Yu Kun takes out number 11. So now, should we do it for Darrow now? Should we do it for Daryl now? Let's do it for Daryl. All right, Daryl, because I said his name. Or maybe I spoke this into existence. I don't know. All right, Daryl, you're not here. Daryl, you're not here. But it's you. <laughs> I'm not even going to look until I open it up, y'all. It ain't number one. Number three. That's not bad. Daryl. Gets the number three spot. Can't be mad at that. Can't be mad at that. Top three. Top three. All right. All right, here we go. All hell chill. All hell chill. Tell me what's the deal. We got three numbers left in here, y'all. So I believe we have one, 15, and... What, what number? Hold on. 115 and I think 12? No, 12 is taken. 13. 1, 15, and 13. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Wait, hold on, because we got DeGrandeza, we got Kimono P, and we got uh, Chill left. So, yeah. So, 1, 15, and 13 are left. So, we got one. We got the number one, <laughs> number one spot. And then we got two bad spots. Or two at the end of the game spots. So, somebody's going to be lucky. 
All right, all hell chill. Get you. All right, chill. Woo! All hell chill. We get the number one spot, number one draft pick. All hell chill. Uh oh. Uh oh. I bet chill wish he was in here right now. I bet chill wish he was here now. All right, y'all, so that means we got DeGrand Desert and we got Kimono P. So these two are going to be battling for 13 and 15. So we'll do Kimono P right now. Kimono P is hoping for that 13th spot. Kimono P, this you. All right. Kimono P, number 13. Sweet. Queen in the building. What's good, Sweet Sour? Just in time. We're almost done with the draft. Sweet. So we're going to start the tournament very soon. All right. Kimono P gets number 13, which means the Grandeza is going to be taking on Inky Boop at number 15. Let's just, let, let's just pull it. Just, just, you know, let's just pull it. All right. There you go. That's the Grandeza, number 15. All right. So positions. Positions and spots are now locked in, y'all. Positions and spots are locked in. Now we're going to go down the list. Now, somebody asked in the chat, how am I going to pick for people who aren't here? By random. I'm going to look at their list. And if possible, I'll go with what I'm determining is their first choice in character, to be fair for them. Because like, I know if it was me, I would want to go with my first. I'm not going to pick their, their weakest character to be pet, you know. So I'm going to go with a choice that I feel like I know if they were here, they most likely picked that motherfucker on their list, of course. So that's how we'll do it. So now, for, so, so, so hold on. Shout out to my boy Ezo. Because now we got to get really into the, into the swing of things. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Good old smash music. And, 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 and take it to the game. All right, y'all. Here we go. So, now it's time. Now it's time to pick characters. All right? <laughs> I love how, I love how Icky Boop calls Violet Blythe. <laughs> well, Icky Boop, I'll, I'll, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see uh, how it goes. You got the last pick. And Violet did you well, but we'll see. All right, so we're going to start off with the number one spot. The number one pick is All Hell Chill. He is not here. He should be, but he ain't. So we're going to go through his list. I'm looking at his list. He's got some hitters. He's got some hitters. But uh, we're going to go with his number one spot. So All Hell Chill. You're at number one. He wants. He wants. He wants. The big body, Bowser. That's all Hell Chill's pick. That's his first pick, is Bowser. All right, let's go to number two. So number two is my man, Kev. D.E.W., Kev, based on your list you gave me, who do you want? Who do you want, Kev? Now remember, you got to think You got to think smart now because now you're going against Bowser. Who you want, Kev, on your list to take on the big body, Bowser? And if you don't remember your list, I'll run it down. Let me know. Uh, <laughs> Wiggly tough. <laughs> uh oh. Um. I don't know, Kev. Both of them are good picks. You're going against the big body, so you gonna need. I think DK would be good because it'd be big body versus big body. But Se see, Sephiroth. I don't know. Sephiroth could do it, but the way Sephiroth was acting last tournament with, with Majestic, but it could be just because it's Majestic and she's cursed. But it could do you well. So, Kev, I, I don't know. I'm going to let you pick. This is, only, this is your choice, Kev. It's your choice. DK or Sephiroth, what you want? <laughs> let me know, Kev. Flip a coin, whatever you got to do. But remember, you're going against about DK. All right. Battle with the big bodies. Out the gate. That's going to be a scrap. All right. We got the number three pick. 
Number three is Darrow. Darrow should be here. I don't know why he's not here. All right, so I'm looking at Darrow's list. I'm looking at Darrow's list. <laughs> and uh, is it a surprise? that it's, it's not a surprise. It's not a surprise. Demon time! <laughs> Wait a minute. No, 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 not you. And he wanted specifically... He wanted specifically Dark dark Demon. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. it's going to get interesting, y'all. It's going to get interesting, y'all. All right. <laughs> Look, this, this man, this man is unavoidable. <laughs> All right, number four pick. Number four pick is Bebo. Bebo 513. All right, Bebo, now you got a lot of thinking to do. Bebo, I want to tell you something. I'm going to tell you this, Bebo. I'm going to tell you this, Bebo. Even though Darrow has, listen, listen to me. I want you to listen to me clear. I'm, just gonna, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you. There is somebody on your list, a big body on your list, that can handle most, like, that, that, I, that I have a good feeling can handle Lucas, okay? I'm not gonna say who, you know your list. But if you smart, cause you can't get Bowser. You can't get Bowser anymore. And you can't get Lucas anymore. So look at your list and think about it. Really think about it. Cause this, cause this is between, this, 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 this is, this is your life that you're thinking about, okay? Look at your list, all right? And pick smart. That's all I'm going to say, and I'm going to leave it at that. You got a chance to stop the demon. You got a chance to stop the demon, in my opinion. Who you got left? You got Big Ganon, you got Ridley, and you got K King K. Rule. Think, Bebo. Think. Ridley, Ganon, K. Rule. You have a shot, a possible shot, to stop the demon. But you gotta pick right. I can't tell you who to pick. Bruh, I'm telling you. Bebo. I I wish I could go inside. I wish I could telekinesis you, bruh. Come on. Look at the chat. Go think of, see what the chat's saying. But come on, Bebo. You got one choice at this. <laughs> you need a lifeline. I just gave you one. I said you got a shot at stopping the demon. But you got to pick right. Look at the chat. Think about it. Ridley, K. Rule, Ganon. And think about them in prior, think about all the characters in prior tournaments. Who do you feel in your soul, in your soul, could stop the demon based on what they do? All right. Serial saying Ganon's recovery is cheeks. I agree. Get K. Rule. K. Rule's your pick? Okay. We're going to go with King K. Rule. There you go. I'm not going to say if that was the one, Bebo, but that's who you got. All right. Next up, number five. All right, number five spot is my man, Bell. All right, Bell, so Lucas is gone. That was your number one pick was Lucas. Everybody, a lot of people's number one pick was the Demon King, Lucas. So who you got? I, but the rest of your, the rest of your uh, list is good. The rest of your list is good. Okay. Put, you want my man Terry? You want my man Terry? All right, hold up, hold up. All right, let's get it. Come on, Terry. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Where, where my man at, where my man at, where my man at? I can't find him. Here you go. Bell wants Terry. Bell wants Terry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta, we gotta do it the right way. Hold on, hold on. We gotta do it the right way. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, no, no, no. Bag up, bag up. Bag up, Terry. Put it in reverse, Terry! <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Are you want, you want Terry in that Nipsey Blue? 
I I got you. I got you. Hold on. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you, Bill. All right. Now we got number six, y'all. Number six pick. Pick six. The goat. The Ogin. All right, the Ogin. Lucas is gone. Terry is gone. Bowser is gone. You got two picks on your list, fam. It ain't looking good for the goat right now, but you never know. All right, so what you got? He won't. He he won't the homies. Banjo Kazooie. That's who we going with. He's going with Banjo. All right, the goat and Banjo. I can't be mad at that combo. Give me that. Give me. Give me them. Give me. Get that Wonder Wing. And I wonder. Number seven spot is next, y'all. Number seven goes to Mike Rich. My Mike Rich. I'm looking at your list, Bruh, Your list has been eradicated. Your first three picks are gone. You got two left. What you gonna do, Mike Rich? You want Ness. You want the I wish I was Lucas, nigga. All right, never know. Ness might show up. N look, look. Ness might 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 have might have got his feelings hurt on that last tournament. Might have got his feelings hurt, but we gonna see. Maybe Ness don't work. Look, hey, if you can't get Lucas, you get you get great value, Lucas. <laughs> Ness ain't nothing but a great value, Lucas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Actually, more like a Dollar Tree, Lucas. But it's all good. He'll try. <laughs> all right. We're all going to have to face Luke. Look, 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 look. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. All right, number eight. Produced by Michael, you are next. And only two of your characters have been uh, taken. So you still got three. Produced by Michael, what you want? Incineroar. You going for the... You look, because you want to rock that belt just like Incineroar. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? You want to get the lariat? All right, let's go. Incineroar. All right, Incineroar. That's for produced by Michael. All right. Okay, let's move on. All right, number nine. Number nine spot is Robin Guard. Robin Guard. You are good. Only one of your characters, which was the demon, the demon Lucas, has been taken. So who you want? Who you want, Robin Guard? You want Pink Wario. Okay. All right. He's going with the unpredictable, unavoidable, and now rocking the pink. Make it stink. Make you think. We talking about the one and only. If I can find a nigga, where he at? Where is this nigga at? Where is Wario? I can never find nobody in this goddamn list. 80 characters. Goddamn it. Shit. Hold on. Where that nigga at? I see. I know he in my face. Don't don't, don't tell me, y'all. He here. I see him. Not don't. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. He here. There, he, there you go. Damn, nigga. All right. All right. You said pink war. All right. Okay. All right, Robin Guard with the Wario. Number 10. Number 10, Darian from Asheville has a very unique, a very unique list, and only one of his characters have been taken. All right, Darian, what you want? What you want, Darian from Asheville, from your list? If you are still here in the chat, that is. Oh. You gonna run Wii Fit Trainer, okay? You gonna, you, all right? You gonna get us in shape today. You gonna get us in shape today. Where is, here it is. This is a very interesting tournament, y'all. I'm here for it, though. I'm here for it. Number 11. Yu Yu Kun is not here. So Yu Yu Kun is not here. Couple of his picks have been taken, so we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with a very a, a, a character who came who kind of came up in the ranks and has been doing well in the past few tournaments and has really solidified themselves as a threat. And let's see if I can find them. There they go, Robin. We gonna go with Robin. So Yu Yu Kun has Robin. All right. Number 12. We are at number 12, and at the 12th spot, we got Public Enemy B. All right, I'm looking at your list. You got one character left. <laughs> Public Enemy B. <laughs> Public Enemy B's got a red <laughs> Let me just go ahead and pick them for you. 
<laughs> you better hope Sephiroth doing something today. Public Enemy B got shafted. That's why you hope you get a, a good pick. You should have re-rolled Public Enemy B. It's what you get for not re You want shirt? All right. All right. All right. Uh, Rob Agar says get him shirtless. Maybe if we get him shirtless and we got, he got the abs out, he'll do better. You want him shirtless or you want him to rock the coat? Maybe the coat was weighing him down. Public Enemy B, let me know. You want him shirtless? Nah. <laughs> All right, 13. Number 13 is next. We got Kimono P who is not here. I'm looking at his list. And most of his list is gone. You know what, we're gonna go, some, we're gonna go with some. All right, Kimono P, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go with a wild card for you. I'm gonna go with a, a real wild card for you. I don't know how this is gonna go. But you had him. Duck Hunt. He had Duck Hunt on the list. Now, my brother is crazy with Duck Hunt, but Duck Hunt CPU? We gonna see. We gonna see. All right. Number 14. Number 14 on the scene. That's Darby. Darby is not here. So we're gonna go with Darby's number one pick. Captain Falcon. All right. Captain Falcon. All right, we have fitting, and that is the Grandeza, I believe. Let me see what the Grandeza's list looking like. Wow. So the Grandeza, the Grandeza is in a bit of a pickle. In a bit of a pickle, because his all his picks are taken. So, what do we do? He's not in the chat. All his picks are taken. We're gonna just have to go with, keep it random. We're gonna have to go random. You need to be here. The grunt. Oh, wait, wait, bro. What, what, come on now. Where you been? See, how you gonna show up? I, all right, well, look. The grind does it. Well, who, okay, so the grind does it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how you just gonna show up like that? Oh, really? You are lurking. All right, so look, all your picks are gone, bro, so pick somebody else. Pick somebody else. Because you're about to get random like a mofo. All right, who you want? <laughs> this shit is scripted. <laughs> it feel like it. Come on, DeGrandeza. Look at this list. Who you want? You can't pick nobody who's already been picked, though. You said, you, oh snap! He said just random. He said, he said, he said, give Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> he said, Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> you crazy? All right, Icky Boop. That means we gonna run. You gonna run it back with with her big bad beautifulness. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it again for you. I'm gonna do it with Byla. Icky Boop goes back to the Byla. Hold on. All right. And there it is, y'all. The grind ass, you sure? Are you sure you want a random? Bro, what if you end up with like, 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 Simon or something? <laughs> with, with a whip of oppression. <laughs> oh, so you, all right. I, I, come on, bro. You got, this is the champion's tournament. You better, you better put, you better, you better have control over your fate. All right, come on, give me somebody. Yeah, Icky Boop got Byler. So, Byler is off the table. All right, so you can do Mario, Link, Samus's, Yoshi, Kirby, Fox, Pikachu, Luigi, Jigglypuff, Peach, Daisy, Ice Climber, Sheik, Zelda, Dr. Mario, uh, Pichu, Falco, Marth, all the Fire Emblem niggas, mostly. Uh, Young Link, Ganon hasn't been taken. You two, Roy, well, yeah. Game and Watch, Meta Knight, The Pits, Snake, Pokemon Trainer, Diddy Kong. There's still some, there's still some heavy hitters up in here. All right. I got you. I got you, Ricky Boop. I got you with Girl Bile. Yep. Okay. So you said you uh you want Ganon? Okay. He's going with Big Ganon. All right, hold on, where is he at? Where, where, where's Ganon? I just saw him. I just saw him. 
Here we go. All right. Can't have a tournament without Ganon. Hey, I mean, we can. <laughs> All right. Okay, y'all. So, with that being said, all right, everybody's picks are locked in. Your picks, your positions, your characters, everything. Locked in. All right, y'all. So, hold on. Let me edit the title because this is a special occasion, y'all. You got to Hold on. You got you got you got to do it the right way. Hold on. Hold on. You know, because Oh, hold on. Let me let me make sure because I can't type. I, for some reason, I can't type on Switch, y'all. It's like I don't know. I don't know what buttons are what, or what. Uh huh. There it is. Ah. Oh! All right. Hold on. See now, now, now. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna do this then. I'm gonna do because they think because they think they're cute. They think they're cute. I'm gonna just put Smash Ultimate. Yeah, yeah. What you thought? You, what you, what what you thought? Uh-huh. You ain't gonna tell me what I can't say. God damn it. Boom. Boom. This was it was already stressful. Oh, we ain't even started yet. Okay, y'all. So, we have our bracket set. So, we're gonna reiterate it one more time. At the number one spot, we got All Hell Chill with Bowser. Number two spot, we got Kev Bloodbath with Donkey Kong. Number three spot, we got Daryl from Target with the Demon King Lucas. At four, we have Bebo. I believe Bebo. Let me see. Yeah, Bebo with King K. Rule. At the five spot, we got Bell with Come On Tay. Number six, we got the Out. The Ogin with Banjo. Number seven, we got Mike Rich with Ness. Number eight, we got produced by Michael with Incineroar. Number nine is Robin Guard with we not with a uh, Wario. Number ten is Darian from Asheville with We Fit Trainer. Eleven spot Yu Yu Kun with Robin. Twelve spot is Public Enemy B with Sephiroth. Thirteen goes to Kimono P with Duck Hunt. Fourteen is Nine One Darby with Captain Falcon. Fitting the Grandeza with Ganon. And sixteen is Icky Boot with Violet. All right. With that being said, y'all, it's been a long road. A long road to this point. But it's time for the official Smash Ultimate CPU Cup Champions Turning 300 and this motherfucker on the line. Who wants it? Who wants it? We about to go see who gonna get it. Let's go. God damn it. It's time. <laughs> this gonna be a this is gonna be this gonna be an experience, y'all. An experience. But we're gonna start it off. Battle of the big bodies. Battle of the big bodies. We got big body Bowser versus King Kong in the trunk. At the one spot, we got all hell chill. Who is still not here? What the fuck are you? All hell chill. Number one spot, number one pick with the big body Bowser taking on DEG, DEW, not Bloodbath, Kev in this bitch, Tower Power, whatever you want to call him. He wants us to call him the Undisputed Champion, and he's going to hopefully do it with the King Kong, Donkey Kong. All right, y'all. Now, these are two former champions, y'all. Two big bodies, two people, two characters who have. Who have shown and proved in this tournament time and time again. But what big body is the bigger body in this battle? I ain't gonna prolong it, y'all. First match, first round. King Kong, big body Bowser, DK versus Bowser. Let's go. Alright. Oh uh, yeah. Big body Bowser. King Kong in the trunk. Alright, here we go. Alright, King Kong. Ooh, roll on. Ass in the face already. All right, ooh, already aggressive. Very aggressive about to get with King Kong. All right, Bowser with the cook. All right, they scrapping for it. They scrapping for it. They throwing hands. All right, big body. They're doing big body do. They throw hands. All right, back here misses. Up tilt. Ooh, missed the drop kick. All right, right now. Right now, DK is just trying to avoid that cook. 
Ooh, slapping the ground. Rolls on him. Looking good. Ooh, ooh, going for the spike. Ooh, off the stage, off the stage. Oh, these big bite, okay. All right. Ooh, back here. Ooh, nice one again. Can Bowser come back from that? Bowser can come back from that. Good recovery from Bowser. Ooh, they are hugging that edge. They are hugging it. They are hugging it and thugging it. Wait! Oh, no! Bowser couldn't come back. Kev on the board. All right, look. Ooh, drop kick. All right. Now, Bowser has to get on the board or all hell chill is going to have an early day. The number one draft pick will be out immediately. Wait, slap some. The great edge garden coming from Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is doing some great edge guarding. All right. Ooh, down spike, but not enough. Not enough to do the damage. All right, 100%, over 100% for DK. Up tilt. Bowser needs to get him out. It's not looking good right now for King, for, for Bowser. Not looking good at all. He can't do it. He didn't do it. King Kong in the trunk today. King Kong in the trunk today. <laughs> uh oh. All hell chill. It's about to be put on ice. All hell chill about to be put on ice with a three stop on the big body. Oh no, I did not expect this. I did not expect this. All hell chew knows what's up. Wait a minute, can, can Bowser at least get on the board? Can he at least get on the board? Wait a minute, there it is, up smash. But it might be a little too late. King Kong is still up two stocks. All right, or up a stock now. He still got two stocks. All right, wait a minute. Bowser might be turning it around. Ooh, another grab to a belly flop. Wait a minute, Bowser might be waking up. It ain't over. Ooh, up smash misses. Ooh, okay. Get the back end. Cranks up the big fist. Okay. Ooh, nice back air. These back airs are working wonders right now. Ooh, down spike. All right. Down to the down tilt. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, King Kong still has a commanding lead, but don't count him out. Don't count out the big body. Anything can happen. This is a Champions Cup. Wait a minute. Back here. King Kong waiting for that big hit. Oh, the big punch would have definitely killed, but he missed. All right. Okay, he's trying to load up another one. Goes for the cook. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This could be this could be the turnaround point. This could be the turnaround point. What King Kong is just trying to. Uh-oh. Is King is, is Kong gonna choke? Is Kong gonna choke? King Kong might choke y'all back here. Goes for the clap. Goes for the cook. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, back out off the stage. King Kong in the trunk, baby. <laughs> I got scared for a minute for Kev. Kev, I got scared for you, bro. I got scared for you, bro. I thought Bowser was about to come back and do it to you. But Kong hangs on with a with a with a beautiful back air off stage and takes out Big Body Bowser first round. Kev moves on to the next round. And one step closer to this. One step closer to this. But with that being said, all hell chill. It's been put on ice, like I said, early. Put on ice early. And it's out of the Champions Cup. You hate to see it. But Kev, you alive, bruh. And DK came to play. You might got you one, but look, we already know who could be next. <laughs> I don't think DK is going to like it. But we'll see. First good match. Crazy match. Crazy match. All right, y'all. Here it goes. Demon time. <laughs> Woo. Bruh, you saw what he did in the wild card tournament. You saw what this man did in the wild card tournament. Can he do it again in the Champions Cup? I don't know. But all I do know is that we about to try to do it for Darrow one big time. Three and four, y'all. We got Darrow from Target taking on Bebo. 513. The Demon King Lucas is here, y'all. Now, we already know how dangerous this man is. We've seen it. We've seen it, but, but we have somebody who hopes that they can slay the demon in the first round, and that somebody is Bebo with 
King K. Rule. Now, here's the thing, y'all. King K. Rule has, I don't think, I think King K. Rule has won probably one tournament. But, I have a feeling King K. Rule has something that no other character has. Guaranteed recovery. Guaranteed recovery. That recovery is something that's like, you can't, you can't, you have to knock K. Rule out. You have to knock him out the stage. You have to launch him or definitely knock him out the stage. You can't hope he's going to fall off because he won't. And the thing about that is, is Lucas can knock you out, but his bread and butter is definitely that stomp off the stage. So, I feel like, I feel like K. Rule with the recovery may give Lucas some trouble. I don't know. We don't know how this is going to go. But we're going to find out. So with that being said, Darrow from Target, Bebo 513, Demon King Lucas versus Kang, Kang Recovery, the King of Recovery, King K. Rule. Let's go. <sighs> All right, y'all. Let's get it. Three, Demon time. Two, King one, of the Recovery. Go. Let's go. PK fire early. All right. Ooh, up smash early. Uh-oh. Okay. Hands and feet. Hands and feet. Another one. Okay. Uh, it's demon time early. Boom stick out. Okay. Go for the stomp. Misses. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Back throw. But back throw. Okay. And there's that recovery. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Boom stick. <laughs> oh my God. Wait. All right. Don't count him out, y'all. Don't. Don't count him. Don't. <laughs> this man is getting destroyed. Okay, there's the recovery. <laughs> that's a recovery. Okay, recovery. Wait. Oh, he walked into the boomstick. Oh, big slap. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, K. Rule's waking up a bit. Okay, blocks that one. He don't want to get with that again. Down spike. Okay, hands. Oh, went for the big punch, but, but, but Lucas saw it. Okay. All right, here we go. King K. Rule. Oh, pet. This man parried the... Wait, okay, Boomstick. Okay, that Boomstick is doing a really good job checking Lucas. All right. Ooh, back here. All right, K-Rule fighting now. K-Rule fighting. I respect it. Ooh, Boomstick again. He is checking Lucas really good right now. Okay, another one. Wait a minute. Wait. PK fire, okay. And Lucas, Lucas has to change the game plan a little bit up. Okay, still nobody's... Okay, wait. Oh, down with Spike. Luke is still here. Oh! Wait a minute. K. Rule on the board. K. Rule's on the board. Okay. PK Fire. 232 for K. Rule. PK Thunder. All right. He can't come back from that. He, he can't come back. Luke has checked him. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. 2 2. We got a scrap, y'all. K. Rule might be able to do it. Oh, nice check. Oh, but look. Wait, wait. Wait. Yo, oh, what? What? King of recovery. King of recovery. <laughs> Yo, their recoveries are insane. Here we go. All right. Lucas. PK fire. Off the bread and butter. Misses the bread and butter. He missed the bread and butter. On the way back, he got him. Wait. He checked him. He checked him. What is happening? Yo, this is a game of recovery, y'all. PK fire out. Okay, Lucas is in the lead. Hands. Ooh, stomps him. Ooh. Clutch hit. Belly flop. Okay. Bruh, K. Rule is holding his own right now. Wait. Oh, my. I'm shocked. I don't even know what's. Boomstick. Boomstick. Point play. Boomstick. Lucas still here. Oh, God, Daryl. Wait. Is Daryl going to be out? Wait. Ooh. Daryl's hope. Wait. That bread and butter has not been a factor in this entire match. Hands and feet. Bebo, you might have something on your hands. That was the crown. He got royalty in his DNA. Big bu Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The demon. The demon's in trouble, y'all. The demon is in trouble. The demon is in trouble. Bread and butter is not working today. There is no bread and butter on the menu. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Okay, Lucas needs to knock out. Up throw. Ooh, that would have definitely killed. Okay, Lucas needs to get knockout. Lucas cannot. Lucas needs to knock out. Okay, down throw. Ooh, nice up tilt. K rule. All right, this might be the big body that stops him. This, 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 can the king? Can the king of recovery slay the demon? Oh lord. Boomstick. Back air. Crown out. Okay. Oh! 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 It's nasty! It's nasty! It's nasty! He baited him. He baited him. That's de demon time, baby. Wait, it's not over. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Is it? Oh! He slayed it! He slayed the demon! <laughs> demon time is. I told you. I told you he's not invincible, y'all. I told you. Demon time is a uh, demon time has been cut short today. Tongue out on him. Wow. We ain't doing it for Daryl today, y'all. Daryl thought. Look, y'all. King K Rule has slayed the demon. Demon time is done. First round, he treated. Look, he just did a LeBron. He just a little. He just he just took out the LeBron of this tournament. First round, King K rule the Suns right now, y'all. He Devin Booker. <laughs> Insane. Darrow is gone. We are not gonna do it for Darrow. This is not Darrow's title. This is not Darrow's title. Bebo. You pick wisely. You pick wisely and you pick right. And King K. Rule might, just might, get you this thing. Man, what a match. What a match. What a match. And now we got another battle with the big bodies in the second round. We got Kev, Bebo, DK versus... Oh, snap, it's DK versus K. Rule. Yo! I, didn't, I just realized it's Donkey Kong versus King K. Rule. It's a D, it's a Donkey Kong semi, bruh, quarter fight, bruh. Now, here's the thing, y'all. Lucas is out, but maybe Ness is going to avenge. Maybe Ness will avenge Lucas. And think about it, y'all. The demon won. The demon got Bell here. So the demon did his job. Maybe Lucas is like, nah, I'm going to just chill out. Let somebody else get the glory. Sorry, Darrow, and that's what it was. But I told you, Lucas is Lucas is 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 dominant, but he is not unbeatable. If you get the right one, if you stop that bread and butter, the bread and butter is Lucas's money. If you can stop that bread and butter like King, King K. Rule did, Lucas loses a good chunk of his offense. Great, great, great match. All right, y'all, here we go. Five and six, five and six. You know what it is. Bang up, bang up. Bang up, Terry. What in reverse, Terry? <laughs> Come on, Terry. Number five. Number five, we got my man, Bell. Belly Ocean. With my man, Terry. The wild card winner. The man who earned his spot by winning the wild card tournament. Taking on, undoubtedly, the greatest CPU entrant of all time. The GOAT! Diogen, with my man Banjo, and Kazooie, with Banjo-Kazooie. Now here's an interesting fight, y'all. We pretty much got the number one, the, 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 the number one ranked, ranked CPU Cup entrant taking on Bell, who won the wild card. Now we got Terry and Banjo. This could go either way, because they're both really, really good characters. Both of them OP. A good Wonder Wing will take you out. You know, if Gold's locked up, that'll take you out. So it's just a matter. It's really a matter of just what character came to play today. Is Diogen going to move on? Will Diogen be taken out the first round? And will Bell move on? Or will Bell be out the first round? We don't know, but I'm not going to wait no more. I, personally, 
because I, I got an affinity for Banjo. I want Banjo to win. But also, I'm thinking about that shipping cost to send overseas. So, Bell, if you win, you're going to save me some money on shipping. So, uh, tell Terry to get it together. Tell Terry to get it together. All right, so here we go, y'all. Round three, or match three, Belly Ocean taking on Diogen. Terry versus Banjo-Kazooie. Who's moving on? Let's go. All right. Here we go. Come on, Terry. Banjo. The homie. All right, here we go. They clash already. Okay. Oh, all right, here we go. Grenades out. Checking them with the eggs and grenades. Oh. All right, hands, hands by Terry. Ooh. All right, with the blicky. Ooh, four smash. That's what I like to see. All right, Banjo out the gate. Out the gate with the offense. I'm like, ooh, big uppercut from Terry. Okay, good block. Ooh, good shoulder tackle. All right, here we go. Terry waking up. Bill likes it. Ooh, stuff the Wonder Wing down spike from Banjo. All right, right now they Ooh, what? I might wonder. Okay, here we go. Ooh, big kick from Terry. Ooh, come on, Terry. All right, but Banjo's still here. Ooh. Wait a minute. Ooh. All right. The banjo's in trouble. It's so with the Yogan. But look, one wonder wing. Wait, wait, wait. That, oh, misses it. If that punch would have landed. Okay, okay. Now he's checking him again. Wastes the wonder wing again. Oh, that, that one connects. But it's not enough. He's still here. Ooh, makes him eat a grenade on the way back. Back air. Smart back air check. Banjo on the board. The Yogan. Oh, come on, Terry. All right. It's, we got a scrap on our hands, y'all. All right. One to one. All right. Ooh, nice down smash. Down smash. All right. Great movement from Banjo. Wait a minute. Ooh, got hit with his own bomb. Terry just being very, very, very defense-oriented with his gameplay right now. You know, just waiting for Banjo to make a mistake. Okay, back air again. Ooh, nice to grab. Ooh, ooh. The up tilts. Or up air, should I say. All right, ooh. Wait a minute. He's holding on to that thing a little too long. All right. 64-60. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, Terry is missing that big punch and it's costing him. It is costing him a lot. All right, checking him again with the with the with the, with the grenades. Another, more grenade checks. Terry is in trouble. He is being zoned out by Banjo. He is being zoned out. And I wonder. And I wonder. Uh oh. The goat being the goat today. Bell, you in trouble, bro. You are in trouble. And so is Terry. Uh oh. Ooh, another Wonder Wing misses. All right. Here we go. Hands. Wonder Wing misses again. Okay, Banjo is wasting those Wonder Wings. All right. But it's all good because he's still got one stock left. Banjo just needs to keep adding damage. Add damage. Don't try to go for the kill. Just mount damage and you got this. Come on. Here we go. Up airs. Up airs. Checking them. In the, in the, what's been happening in this match is that Banjo has been zoning out Terry so much that Terry can't get his, his combos in. But he can get that in. All right, dash punch. It's not over, though. 51%. Terry can still come back on this. Terry can definitely come back. All right. It is not over. All right. Ooh, there we go. Nice check. Checks and baits. Okay. Ooh, caught him. Oh, didn't he? Okay. All right. And Banjo might be losing it. Is Banjo going to lose it for Diogen? Okay. Ooh, nice check. That would have hurt. All right. Again. He's trying to use the grenade to bait and, and, and trick out Terry for another uh, attack afterwards. Ooh, good block from Terry. All right. If, if there was ever a need for a Wonder Wing, it's right now. Banjo better start throwing the Wonder Wings. Misses the Wonder Wing. Ooh, the roll's on him. Ooh, big kick. Okay, go is locked up. Remember that. Banjo better watch out. Okay. Ooh. Wonder Wing. Oh, Lord. Okay, one more Wonder Wing and Terry is out of this thing. You got to watch out. He's probably going for the back here. Ooh, big four kick. Oh, this is intense, y'all. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? One, and I wonder, and I wonder if you know that the GOAT. The GOAT. Banjo with the Wonder Wing kill and takes out Terry and takes out Bell. And that means the GOAT moves on. Lord, 
What a this tournament is being very, 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 very interesting, y'all. Do I have to send this thing overseas? Do I gotta ship this thing across the pond? <laughs> oh snap, Daryl, what's up? Daryl, you missed you missed it. Look, you had Lucas, bro, but King K. Rule made you look like a fool. You out. But but I hope you stick around. But one person who is not out, the GOAT! The Ogan. Showing his status in this in this tournament. Takes out Terry and takes out the wild card winner, Bell Bell. I'm sorry. You, 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 you had to fight for your spot here. You scratched and clawed. And for what? To get knocked out the first round. It's a shame. But you going against the GOAT, fam. You going against the man who's who's who has the best stats in the game. Nobody can do it like the Ogan. And he just proved it to you firsthand. <laughs> look. See how <laughs> look the Demon King. Look, okay, Daryl. Let, 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 let's backtrack. The Demon King lost because he came across somebody who who stopped his, his biggest offensive attack, the bread and butter, the off the stage stomp. That wasn't a factor. And Lucas couldn't adjust. And K Rule did what K Rule did. It was a king. You alright, Daryl? Look. You still got the greatest, the greatest uh, CPU Cup victory in, in, in history, though. Nobody's ever gonna forget the 24. Nobody's ever gonna forget number 24. Just remember that. Just remember that. <laughs> Woo! Three Ivers and four of. I'm telling you, this tournament art is, 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 is crazy. Look, this champion's tournament. This champion's tournament. Serial Sensei, 30 for 30. Appreciate the host. All right, y'all. But look, the Ogan moves on to the next round. And I'm not mad because it's Banjo. I love to see Banjo doing well. I love it. All right, y'all. Seven and eight, y'all. Seven and eight. And now we, we, we got probably somebody who's going to try to avenge the death of Lucas. We got Mike Rich, 727, with Ness. Now, Ness was in the last tournament, I think, the wild card tournament. And uh, unfortunately, Ness just tried to be Lucas so bad and it just didn't work out. It didn't work out. And he got, he got stomped. He got stomped out. So hopefully he has a better performance today. But he's going to get somebody with nothing but raw, unadulterated power. And I'm talking about Incineroar with the Lariat and the back body drops. The Brock Lesnar of this shit. And at that eighth spot, we got produced by Michael holding it down. So the question is, is how is this going to play out? Is Lucas, not Lucas, is Ness going to have that same fire and intensity that the demon Lucas has? Or is he going to be soft and just let Incineroar right here just close line him to hell? Word to JBL. You're going to find out. Here we go, y'all. Seven and eight. Who's going to take on the GOAT, Diogen? Is it going to be Mike Rich? Is it going to be produced by Michael? Battle of the Mikes. Let's go. All right. All right. There's Ness. There's Incineroar. Need we say more? Okay, PK. All right, PK fire goes for the back. Ooh, okay, back here. Okay. All right, let's see. PK fire misses. Okay, and he and it cost him. Center roar is moving really, 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 really smooth right now. Ooh, down spike from there. Okay, wait a minute. I'm I'm seeing a little Lucas. I'm seeing a little bit of Lucas in him. All right. Ooh, down, checking him with the down, folks. All right, Center roar. Ooh, good block. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Did Ness, did Ness go take a visit to the... Ness took a visit to Demon Town. And, uh, Mike Rich, you might be in... Uh, not Mike Rich, uh, Bruce Michael, you might be in trouble. And Cinderor has already lost the stop because that recovery is ass. We already know that. He gotta stay off that stage. He gotta get a Lariat in. He can't even... He is checking him. Oh, my... Okay. Uh-oh. All right. Okay, here we go. There you go. Nice up smash. Not enough, though. Not enough. Ness is doing well, surprisingly. Okay, Ness got tired of y'all talking shit. I respect it. Wait a minute now. Uh-oh. And I think Incineroar is kind of stumped right now because Incineroar can't get in and do what he do. He can't get, the, he can't get those command grabs going. We haven't seen one Lariat, one back body drop. We saw that drop kick though. All right, Ness on the board. No, Incineroar on the board, but he's at 137. He got to do a lot of damage fast. 
Ooh, nice big splash. All right, maybe Incineroar's waking up. Wait, he caught him with the Lariat! Bruh, smart, bruh, smart, big brain moves. Big brain. Ooh, okay. PK Fire cooking him. Okay. Ooh, that misses. All right, Ness is holding it down. Holding his own right now. Goes for the yo-yo. Ooh, with the chop. And now, now it's looking a little bit more like we expected. Wait a minute. Goes for the big, the big armor. Back here. Ness is, Ness is, Ness is, Ness is fighting it out. Ness! For, <laughs> oh my God. Wait a minute. Mike Rich, you might have somebody on your hands. The fourth wall. Okay, it's, it's, hey. Ooh, there it is. That, that, that hit for the first time ever. All right. <laughs> All right. Look, the story of this match is the fact that Ness has is, is, is been spacing out and sending her to the point where he can barely get a grab in. There it is. There it is. All right, with the Cesaro swing. Gets the, gets, gets the board. All right, now last stop. Incineroar has to do, wait, Spike. Wait a minute. Back, okay, back kick. Incineroar needs to stay off that edge. Away from that edge. Okay. Nice grab, down throw. All right, he needs a Lariat and a back body drop to save his life. Ooh, nice block. Okay, up tilt. Ooh, down spike. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Drop kick. Can Ness do it? Can Ness do it? Ooh, went for the splash. Wait a minute. So Ness just fucked herself up. <laughs> Ness just ruined it for my. <laughs> so here's what happened, y'all. Ness was trying to avoid. Incineroar is a smart dude. He didn't throw. No, he didn't throw. He jumped off the stage. He was trying to do the thing. And then he saw Incineroar was coming over. And Incineroar shook Ness. And it caused him to not do it fully. And then he tried to do it again, but he was too far away. And he fell off. So basically, Incineroar edge guarded him off the stage for him, for him to be able to shake his recovery. Bruh. I thought Ness had it, y'all. We all thought Ness was going to win. But Incineroar turned the tables. Turned the tables and produced my Michael. <laughs> you live to fight another day. Thanks to Ness being trash. Look, look, look. These, these... Okay, these mother, word the mother, these Ness and Lucas, they need to have a powwow right now. I really thought, no, give it to, I gotta give it to Lucas, not Luke, Ness. He fought, and he could have won. But also, they both SD. Like, Incineroar had an SD, or, or, or you know, an SD in the early, and Ness had one at the, at the tail end. So they both lost the stock on their own accord. It's just Ness lost the wrong one. <laughs> Ness finessed you. <laughs> Not Mike Rich talking shit. No, Bruce Michael talking shit about Mike, Mike Rich. I'm sorry, bro. Mike Rich, look. It all happens. Maybe you should have picked Gannon. <laughs> Maybe you should have picked Gannon. But, uh. Hey. <laughs> boycott the team. Look, you can't boycott it. It's the Champions Cup. Look, all y'all were. Look, y'all can't boycott something y'all already won before. All right, y'all just mad because y'all ain't winning this. Y'all just want this title. Y'all want this. Y'all want this glorious championship belt. You, you're mad because you ain't going to get it. You're mad because you ain't going to get it. I'm sorry, y'all. Only There could be only one. We on some Highlander shit right now. And with that being said, produced by Michael, you move on with Incineroar. You're going to take on the GOAT, Diogo, and Banjo. And that's going to do it for the first half of the bracket, y'all. Mike Rich, I am sorry. I am so sorry. But look, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for being the champion. I appreciate you. And next time, pick Gannon. All right, y'all, here we go. Nine and 10. Nine and 10. And we got none other, none other than Robin Guard, my boy Robin Guard, with the unpredictable, unavoidable, now rocking that pink, make it stink, Wario. And he'll be taking on at the 10th spot to make it hot, Darian from Asheville.
AKA Mr. I Got Hero Band. <laughs> All right. Now, he's got Wii Fit Trainer as well. So this is going to be interesting because they're both very unpredictable, kind of wacky, off-the-wall types of characters. You got Wario with the bike, with the ass gas, with the chomp, with the big fist and the slaps and the, and the, and the elf shoe kick. And then you got Wii Fit Trainer with the, with the, with the, solar, the solar flare beam ball shit, spirit bomb. Salute the sun, whatever she calls it. The, the 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 volleyball. You know, the yoga poses. I don't know where this fight's gonna go, y'all. All I know is that just get prepared to see some craziness and this could go either way. It could be Robin Guard, it could be Darian from Asheville. But one thing we gonna do is find out right now, cause here it go, y'all. Nine to ten, Wario, we fit trainer. Battle with the W's. And we got Robin Guard and Darian from Asheville. We're gonna get it. Who's moving on? Let's go. Uh, Hero is banned. Daryl, you know it. He will never, he will, he will never be. He will never show back up. All right. And you, you can thank Darian from Asheville for winning in dominant fashion. But here we go, y'all. Bike on him. All right. Now, Wii Fit does have that recovery move that can uh, bring back some of her uh, stamina. So, got to watch out for that. Okay, bike out. Now, w Wario is going to be playing. Okay, you need to start worrying about that bike. Oh, chomping on him. All right. Okay, and there go, here go Wario. Wario's playing very aggressively. Wario's a very aggressive player right now. Okay, up smash hit. Ooh, oh, slide, smooth slide. Okay, ooh. Slid on him, she, and he runs her over. Okay, volleyball misses. Okay, and it's a good thing that, that bite, oh, Wario's being smart. He, ooh, blocks the, blocks the solar beam. Okay. Wario is a, Wario is a bad motherfucker. I gotta get it to him. Right, right now, but don't don't count out We Fit. We Fit is moving, is moving at yoga like yoga like precision. All right, she says you're wobbly. She's talking shit, talking talking shit, and, and get you out of here. We Fit on the board. Darian on the board. Ooh, throw the ass. All right, throw the bike on her. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. We, Wario needs to get on the board. Robin Gar needs Wario to get on the board fast before it gets away from him. Okay. Ooh. Oh, snap, check, that, them yoga poses are doing the work. Okay. Wario trying, trying to get that kill. Trying to get that kill. Uh-oh, a little bit, little bit of energy back. And right now, Wii Fit Trainer is doing a great job just keeping Wario off, off the game. All right. Go for the bike, missing the, like, Wii Fit Trainer is avoiding everything. Oh, couldn't avoid that, but she's avoiding everything really good. All right, Wario on the board. All right, still. Oh, check it. Check it with them big hands. Core screw. There it is. All right, Wario. Trying to mount a comeback right now. Trying to get turn this thing around. <laughs> All right. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Daryl? Look. You should have... Ass gas! Look, I had the biggest pop-off. I had the biggest pop-off when you won the tournament, bro. Bro, I felt that win in my soul, bro. Come on now. That was a moment in time. The world stopped for a minute when you won. Come on, bro. All right. Okay, here we go. Wario has turned this around. Darien is in trouble. Okay, Robin Guard's looking good right now. One more big hit from Wario, and he's on the board again. But we freaking turn this around, too. Mounting up that damage. Ooh, back here misses. Down, ooh. Up till, ooh! That's up there for the kill. All right, one more to go for Wario. But don't count out we fit. Okay. Ooh. All right. Goes for the spike. Nice back air. Okay, let's spike again. Okay, she needs to stop doing that volleyball shit. That ain't working. That, that, that never works. Okay. Shoulder attack. Ooh. Okay, nice offensive barrage going from Wario right now. Ooh, up air again. That up air killed last time. Ooh, throws the bike. Okay, loads up. Okay, back throw. Nice kill with the back throw. All right, one more to go. It's still, like, we fit needs to do a lot of damage fast. Wario's trying to close it out at 81%. Uh-oh, big hit. Ooh, damn, he hit her and the ball. He's like, both of y'all can my ass. Ooh, big fist misses. Goes for the bike again. He's using that bike as a barrier to check, which is really smart. Okay, throw, ooh, tried to throw the bike on Wario. Wario's like, nah. 
He got a fleet. He got a lifetime membership at Harley Davidson. Oh, uh, it's not looking good right now. It is not looking good right now for Darren from Asheville. It might be. Look, he might have to go back to Asheville sad. It might be Robin Garth's might fight. Ooh, big hit. And that's going to do it. The unavoidable. Pink make you stink. Robert God, baby. Robert God moves on with the Wario pick, takes out the Wii Fit. Wario's like, nah, I don't work out. I don't work out. Get out of here. Personal trainer for what? Personal trainer for what? Robin Gar, congratulations, fam. You move on to the next round. Darian from Asheville. Not only did you get Hero Band, but now you just lost the first round of the Champions Cup. You probably feel horrible. <laughs> I'm messing with you, bro. I'm messing with you. Appreciate you for coming through. And we fit try it. We fit try it. Put up a good fight. But Wario is just one of them unpredictable, aggressive mofos that you just don't know what's going to happen. You don't, either he's going to whoop your ass or he's going to get his ass whooped. It's one or the other. Like it's, it's no in-between with, with Wario. But Wario moves on, and Robin Guard, he might do it for you. He might do it for you. There's no Lucas to stop him this time. So we're going to see what happens. You never know. You never, ever know. And we're going to move on. All right. Yo, this title, this title is getting one step closer to being somebody's. All right, 11 and 12, y'all. Okay. They both got to go to the same hairdresser with them frost tips and shit. All right. All right. 11 and 12, y'all. 11. We got Yu Yu Kun, who is still not here, with Robin. And at the 12 spot, we got, who's at 12? Public Enemy B with Sephiroth. Now, Sephiroth ruined what would have been a queen semifinals because he didn't get it done against Joker. So maybe Sephiroth can redeem himself and give Public Enemy B this glorious title. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, all these matches have been really good. Very close. There hasn't been any matches that has been like a dominant win. Everything's went down to the last stop. There's been some good fights so far, y'all. Good fights. And we hopefully got another good one on our way with Robin and Sephiroth. Now, Robin, like I said, Mr. Magic, I'm going to call him Mr. Magic, has been doing very well in these tournaments as of late. Sephiroth has won a tournament, but Sephiroth has been a little iffy. Sometimes he's great. Sometimes he just act like he don't want to be there. So hopefully today he wants to be there for Produced by Michael. And you, you cool, and wherever you at, I hope that you in your soul are giving Robin your spirit. Here we go, y'all. 11 and 12. You, you cool versus Public Enemy B. Robin versus Sephiroth. Who's going to take on the unpredictable Wario and Robin Guard? Let's go. Right. I don't know how I don't know how to call this one, y'all. I don't know how to call this one. But let's go. All right. Sephiroth getting cooked early. Ooh, comes back with a big hit. All right. So what 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 Robin's gonna try to do? I mean, they both can do the same things pretty much. They both got swords and they got magic. So come on, whose magic and swords are better? All right. Okay, Robin throws out the fire. Ooh, caught. All right, and right now, Robin is doing a good job right now. Sephiroth needs to turn this around a bit. Get some of that magic of himself going. Our fire to the setup. Oh, one wing angel out. Ooh, it, Sephiroth. Sephiroth needs to get it together. Okay, good block. Ooh, and he caught him with that. That was a smart move. Another one. But Robin is still here. Not, Robin is still here. Three big hits from Sephiroth, and Robin is still here. Robin's like, no, I'm a fighter. He's like, I... Robin is a survivor, a down spike. When will this man go? That mad, he, uh, there you go. Some, some extra in that book. Some extra in that magic book. All right, Robin loses his first stop. Yu Yu Kun, not looking good right now. It's looking good right now for probably MBB. Oh, the magic clash. All right, now Sephiroth needs to get some damage before he gets out of here. Never mind, never mind. All right. Okay, here we go. Off the stage play. Okay, Robin. Like, this is amateur magic to Robin with what Sephiroth doing. He's like, get that bullshit out of here. You ain't even got a book, nigga. He's like, you ain't even got a book, fam. All right. Okay, go for that down spike. Okay, good job checking. Good checks. Woo! He checked him. He checked him to death. Okay. Sephiroth might be on it. Public enemy B. One more. 
Robin need to turn this around. Oh, he throwing every he, he throwing every spell in that book at him now. Okay, uh oh, he's got him with the three, he got him with the three balls. Oh, yo, he is juggling the hell out of Robin right now. Okay, he can juggle some himself. All right, Robin needs to. Ooh. See how come Sephiroth can play this with Majestic? <laughs> oh my God! All right, back here, loading it up. Oh, stops him. Bruh. 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 This is the Sephiroth that I want to see. Just. Okay. Okay, Thunder. All right. Sephiroth back. Block. You couldn't do that for Majestic, though? You couldn't do that for, Jest for Majestic, though? Sephiroth! Bruh. I, I, now I firmly believe Majestic was cursed. Majestic's cursed. Because Public Enemy B, you got you the real self of Roth today. That man murked Robin. This is this is the self of Roth that we know. The motherfucking super villain. Bruh. Yu Yu Kun. I mean, you ain't even here, so I guess it don't even matter. It's good. I mean, so you gone. Yu Yu Kun is out. Robin is out. And as you can, as, as it says in the chat, Sephiroth robbed robbed you you coon of this title public enemy b you move on now here's the thing let's let, let, let's look at this this is very interesting y'all i'm gonna tell you something right now let me tell you something right now all if i'm not mistaken all of the for, the former champions who have all went into retirement have won their first round matches kev bebo Diogen, and now Public Enemy B. So all four of the four best performing champions are in the next round. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Bruh. This, this, like, what if? I'm just saying, what if? No, that's not possible, I don't think. I don't think it's possible. Actually, it is possible, I think. It is. Is it possible? It is possible. That what if all four in the semifinals are all four of the people who were in three retirement? It's a possibility. Now that I look at the bracket, I think it is. That'd be crazy. That would be wild. Bruh. All right. So here's the deal. Actually, no, it, it's not possible, I don't think. Actually, it's not possible. It's not possible. Scratch that, but it is dope that y'all all got out the first round yourself. All right. So. We're moving on, y'all. 13-14. At the 13th spot, we got Kimono P, who is not here. And we got <laughs> 9 one Darby, who is also not here. So, look. Bruh. Oh, chill. I didn't even know. Chill, you up in My bad, chill. I didn't even realize you was up in here. Sorry you lost the first round, bruh. Sorry. You got spanked. But you're still here. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, chill. So this match right here, y'all, like, since 9-1 Darby ain't here, and since, uh, I mean, we still gonna watch it. We gonna watch all the matches. But since 9-1 Darby ain't here, and since, uh, who else? Kimono P ain't here. Like, I mean, you know, who cares? It don't matter. It does, but it don't. But we gonna see what happens, y'all. I ain't even with no pep talk because they ain't even here. So here we go, y'all. 13, 14, Darby, come on OP, the absent motherfuckers who forgot there was a tournament today, Duck Hunt versus Captain Falcon. It's going to be an interesting fight. Let's go. All right. You had Captain Falcon got, well, well, maybe, look, this might be redemption, a redemption tournament. All right, here we go, Duck Hunt. All right, back here is already. All right, Phil, look like my brother playing. Can out. All right, yes, you can. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Wait! Ooh, nice check. But that recovery from Duck Hunt is just as good as it's probably just as good as K rules. Maybe Duck Hunt could have beat Lucas. Ooh, down spike. Alright, now here's the thing. Captain Falcon hits hard as hell. But he ain't got all these little tricks that uh Duck Hunt has. But he can juggle the hell out of you. Alright. Alright, so so far can up. Alright. And even that can, that can ain't even working. Ooh, that's working there now. All right, here we go. 
All right, so Darby, come on, OP. Hopefully, whoever wins, they show up in the tournament later. All right, nearly got a reverse three. Like, yeah. No, all right, you right, Chuck. Look, look. Bowser almost, uh, almost did. Wait a minute. Still nobody's first stock in this one. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, nice check. All right, they're both scared. They're both scared to lose the first stop. All right, good throw. Throws them up. Can up for check. Ooh, nice can. Yes, you can, Duck Hunt. Yes, you can. Mono P on the board. And now, now Darby on the board. Oh, wait, is Darby, wait, is Darby, wait. Yeah, Kimono P has the duck. I'm, I'm, right, I'm right, I'm right. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Right now, it's been a pretty much an even fight, y'all. They're scrapping. Okay, disc is out. All right. All right, they can't get too much screen time, in my opinion. All right, nice up here. Ooh, nice check. And Falcon is hitting all these big moves, but it really isn't mattering because Duck Hunt's staying alive in this thing with all these projectiles. It's been a pretty even fight. All right, but Duck Hunt is definitely in kill territory. Well, they both in kill territory now. Another can. Bruh. Oh, nice grab. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Back airs are missed. Okay. He, he fished for like four back airs before he got it. Duck Hunt. Yo, it's, it's back and forth. All right, here we go. Let's go. Falcon kick. Ooh, off the stage, here we go. That can is just sitting there. Wait, wait, waiting to be a problem. You ran right in there, you dumbass. All right, anybody's match. Is it, ooh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh! Ooh, what the off stage check! Who, who said something about Duck Hunt? Who said something about Duck Hunt? My brother playing, yo. Kimono P! Ah! <laughs> Kimono P! With the damn dog. Moves on. And now one Darby. I mean, you wasn't here to see it anyway. But Darby is done. And Duck Hunt moves on. Kimono P. That's, that's what I like to see. See, I had a good feeling Duck Hunt was going to do something. Duck Hunt did something. All right, Kimono P. Moves on to the next round. All right, here we go, y'all. Here's the fight I'm looking for right here, y'all. Here's the fight I'm looking for. Because there's a story right here, y'all. All right. So we got 15-16. We got DeGrandeza. Who was about to YOLO. And just like, hey. Pick me who, pick whoever. His character in a champions tournament with this title on the line. Has Big Ganon. <laughs> Taken on. Big, bad, beautiful Byleth and Icky Boop. Who, who by fate was placed into this tournament. Due to the fact that Cool Chris 16 was not able or present to claim his spot. Now, here's the thing, y'all. Violet was the runner up. Well, Ikibu was the runner up in the wild card tournament. And she almost slayed the demon. She almost slayed the demon and really solidified her spot in this tournament with Violet, but just missed out. So maybe Ikibu. Would her first championship would be the biggest championship I've ever granted to anybody. Will we get a queen of the ring with a title in hand and $300? It's, it's possible. It's possible. Violet is Violet ain't no slouch, but also neither is Ganon. So here we go. 430 in the building. What up, BZ? DeGrandeza is scared. <laughs> I feel you. I'd be scared too, bro. I'd be scared too. Here we go. DeGrandeza. Icky Boop, Ganon, Violet, who's going to take on that damn dog? Let's go. All right. I got it. Look, the Grandeza, I fuck with you, my man. But Queen Energy is where I'm at with it. Come on, Icky Boop. Let's get it. All right, here we go. All right, Ganon. Ooh, big hits out the gate. Ooh, another big hit. Like, I got that. I got something for that, too. Now, remember, when it comes to recovery, ooh, Ganon is not the best. Ooh, there you go. There you go. But he does hit. He hit. He hits way, way more than enough to, to, to knock someone out. All right, here we go. Right now, it's pretty, pretty even. Pretty, not, not too far of a gap. Uh oh, but, but definitely Bottoms is widening that gap. Oh, arrow out. 
Okay. Now, oh, back air. Oh, see, that, that's that, that's the dangerous part about Ganon. It don't take much for him to get you out of here. What? It don't take much for him to get you out of here. All right. Come on, Violet needs to get a kill right now. There it is. But Ganon is such a heavy motherfucker. He a heavy bat. He, that, look, look. The Grandass, you might be safe just because because Ganon is a big body and a and a and a and a and a in a small frame, pretty much. Uh oh. Uh, it's not looking good for Byleth right now. Ooh! It's not looking. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. It's not. Wow. Uh. <laughs> he destroyed. He fucking destroyed by with y'all. That. Um. Icky, I'm sorry you had to watch that. That was that. That was that was that was. That was horrible to watch. But look about it. It looks like icky. Like I, the grind dancer, you move on, bro. <laughs> what was, what was that, <laughs> bro? I'm, look, <laughs> by <laughs> you wrong, Bell. Look, icky. I'm sorry. I just gotta apologize for that. That that nobody should have saw that. There, look, that shit hurt to that, that that literally hurt to watch. Like he's straight up. He straight up massacred Byleth. He treated Byleth like, like that was like Jigglypuff or something. That wasn't right. I feel like she, I feel like she deserve a run back for that. <laughs> Yo, she deserve a run back for that shit. <laughs> that wasn't right. I mean, I'm not gonna do it, but bruh, the Grandeza says I need this. I don't care. Who, I don't care if it's Icky Boop or not. He need this, <laughs> Bruh. Right? Yo, he look, look, look. Ganon tapped into his inner Omni Man with that. He tapped into that inner Omni Man with that. <laughs> that was just, <laughs> Bruh. How do we look? I feel bad for that dog. That dog is about to be. Look, it, it's gonna go from this to animal abuse. We better get ready to call Peter, <laughs> cause he about to destroy that dog. <laughs> Lord, the Grand Vesa, you move on, one step closer. Round two. We in round two, y'all. Good Lord. All right, y'all. We back at it. It's a Donkey Kong. It's a talk. It's a Donkey Kong quarterfinals. Is what it is. And we got two big bodies. We got two and four. Donkey Kong versus King K. Rule. We got my man Cab DW taking on none other than Bebo, excuse me, Bebo 513. Now here's the thing. We got King Kong in the trunk who took out the big body Bowser and, and, and brought Kev here. And then we got the Demon Slayer Bebo with King K. Rule. Now this is a legendary, this is a legendary rivalry, y'all. Kong vs. K. Rule? They've been fighting for years. They've been fighting for decades. So why not have them fight on the grandest stage of them all? The CPU Cup Championship Tournament. It's only fitting. Right? It's like Godzilla vs. Kong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, this could go either way. If, 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 if Donkey Kong is dominant and just keeps putting on the pressure and doesn't let K. Rule do what K. Rule does because... Like recovery wise, they both got good recovery, but Donkey Kong just has to just just dominate to get Kevin to the next bracket. King K. Rule has armor, he has projectiles, he has setups and traps. 
Kong is just brute force. And that's what we need Kong to do is just put the pressure on. If not, Kev going to be probably out this bitch. And Bebo going to be one step closer to this. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out. Here we go, y'all. Quarterfinal match. King Kong. King of recovery. Donkey Kong. Franchise fight. The rivalry continues. Kev versus Bebo. Who moves on to the semis? And one step closer to 300. And this motherfucker. Let's go. Oh, that's going to be a scrap, y'all. It's going to be a scrap. Look, we never thought we'd see this. Kong versus K. Rule. Let's go. All right, big bodies. Rolls on them. All right. Battle with good. Okay, B belly flop. Back air. They're just going to be scrapping. All right, this is a normal Saturday night for them. All right. Ooh. Ooh, big hit. What the? What? Look, they just. Look, look, look they just. They, they said we're going to scrap it out. Okay, boomstick. Throw. Okay, belly flop. Ooh! What the stop? <laughs> K. Rule ain't no fool. K. Rule ain't no fool. Uh oh. All right. Donkey Kong. Double up. Double up on the up smashes. All right. Donkey Kong need to definitely get a hit. Ooh. Nice check. All right. K. Ooh. There we go. All right. I thought I thought Kong was gonna let him hit, a, give him a, a spike of himself. Ooh. There you go. Up air. Come on. You gotta get rid of him. Back air. Not enough though. The recovery, you better, you know better. You know better. Uh oh. That's a belly flop. You don't want to be on that edge. That stomp is, is, is savage. Ooh, hit him with the boomstick. Okay. Kong need to get a stop now. Back throw. That ain't enough. Ooh, goes for the spike, but that misses. Ooh, that would Ooh, that would I'm telling you. You're playing a dangerous game. King K. Rule might be the one. Can hit him with all that. Bro, the recovery is so... The recovery is crazy. The recovery is crazy. The recovery is crazy. Kong in trouble, y'all. Kong and Kevin's in trouble. Kong on the board, but Kong is in trouble. Bro. Who's gonna stop K. Rule? We don't got a... We don't got a Bylet to stop K. Rule. Bylet is what stopped K. Rule last tournament. Can, can, can Kong wake up? Okay, there you go. There, here it is. The brute force I was talking about. Oh, hit him with the boom, boom. All I want to do is zoom, zoom, zoom. And the boom, boom. All right. One more to go, and Kev is out. Kev. Kev, you might not be taking... I might not have to, I might not be dropping this off to you, player. Bebo says, nah. Bebo said, this is for me. Wait a minute. Good. Break. Oh, breaks the armor. Breaks the armor. That would... Bruh, what if if Kong was smart, which he's not, he would have did a kill shot on that armor break. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. Up here. Oh lord. Oh lord. Okay, that misses. Okay, back here. Okay. Kong uh, Kev, he's still in this thing. Kong can still Kong maybe can still do it. But we need a lot of we need a, we need a, we need a lot of offense, a lot of offense from Kong. Okay, there it is, there it is, there we go. Okay, throws the crown, misses the crown. Boomstick, misses it. Ooh, back out of the throw. He, he saw it, he saw it coming. Boomstick, miss. Ooh, misses it. All right, he's checking him. Okay. Down with the drop. Bebo! Let's go! <laughs> Bebo moves on to the semis. King K. Rule ain't no fool. He slays the demon and he takes King, Kron King Kong out the trunk. And with that said, Kev, I know you wanted this title, bro. I know you wanted to bring this title home to DEW. But you couldn't do it. King Kong couldn't do it. Because there's another, there's a real king with a real crown on the scene. And his name is K. Rule. Bruh. Bebo. Bebo, you might, you might, you, you, you're almost there. You're in the semis. You're in the semis. <laughs> Ban, 
The ban K tool. <laughs> can't ban him? You can't ban you can't ban the recovery man? Come on now. Look. Look, y'all thought Lucas was unstoppable. Ain't nobody unstoppable in this in this. look. This is the same man who lost to Violet in the last tournament. Nobody is unstoppable. It just it just depends on who's going against who. You never know. Like who's to say who's to say it ain't Keru versus Ganon and Ganon don't just destroy this man. You don't know what's gonna happen. But what we do know what's gonna happen is that Bebo is going into the semis. Yes, sir. And Kev is out this bitch. Sorry, Kev. Sorry. But look, look we, we still got DW. <laughs> All right. And with that said, we are back with six and eight. The GOAT, the Ogin, with Banjo, who took out Terry and Bell, will be taking on the lucky motherfucker named produced by Michael with Incineroar. Now, I got a feeling that this is going to be a Diogen victory. I feel like Banjo can definitely outzone, definitely outzone uh, Incineroar. Better recovery and has the Wonder Wing. So, can hit hard and has good agility. But, if Incineroar can use their maneuverability to weave in and out of that shit and catch Banjo with a few lariats, a few big hits, Produce by Michael might be able to do it and take out the GOAT. We gonna see. So, is it gonna be a battle on the left side of the three timers? Is, is Bebo, who has already had a three timer, gonna meet the GOAT? Arguably, Bebo and, and, and Diogen are the two best performing uh, entrants. So that would be dope to have them in the semis and see who is the best of those two. That would be dope. But we're going to find out. Here we go, y'all. 6-8. Diogen, produced by Michael, Banjo versus Incineroar. Let's go. What up, Arterial? Arterial's over in the building. Three, Get comfortable, bruh. All right. Go. Here we go. All right, Banjo. All right, already with up tilt. Wonder Wing early, but it was blocked. Another block. Okay, backbreaker. All right, like I said, defense is the name of the game, definitely for Incineroar. Uh-oh, throws his bomb back at him. All right. Oh, goes for it. Oh, misses the, misses the Lariat. He rarely misses the Lariat. But right now, it's looking good for Incineroar. Okay, back here. Okay. Ooh. All right. And Diogen is hoping Banjo can get something going. Don't let it get too far away. Off the stage. Off the stage. Ooh. Here we go. It's a big hit. Lariat! Uh-oh. Like I said, Wonder Wing blocks it. Great defense early on from the center roar. The defense is A1. And it's really, really keeping Banjo in check. Okay. Okay, Banjo. Goes to the down spike. Not enough to keep him in there. Okay. All right. Banjo is trying to zone out. He's trying to do a zoning game. But... And Center Wars prepare for it. Ooh, nice one. Nice one. Nice setup. Okay. Wonder when to get back. Okay. Nice setup. Banjo's trying to set up for that for that for that first stop. Wonder Wing. And Center Wars said, but he's not coming back from that. He can't come back. Well, maybe he can. Oh, he can't come back. Good job. Man, good job of Center Roar. Alright. Down tilt. Wonder Wing misses. Belly flop. Ooh, to the up up air. Alright, they scrapping. Down spike. Here we go. And, ooh! The center on the board with the first stop. Okay, Banjo definitely needs. There it is. Back throw to. Okay. All right, this is a closer fight than I thought it was going to be. All right. Okay, nice lariat to the knee. Okay, back here stops him. Okay, here we go. Ooh, down spike. Throws up the grenade. Okay, went for the armor. Ooh, up air. All right, Banjo. These, Banjo is kind of off his game right now. Banjo can't really get anything going. And Cinderella is playing hyper-aggressive right now, and I don't think Banjo is ready for it. All right. Jump pad. All right. Ban okay. Nice up throw to the up airs. Okay. Ooh, to the big fist. But it was, oh, it was stopped with the stuff. Okay. Nice, nice. All right, right. Still pretty even game. Okay, four smash misses it. All right. Ooh, went for the Larry and was checked. Ooh, nice grenade drop. All right. Ooh, big one to wing hit. Okay. All right. But but honestly, you gotta you gotta give it to Incineroar. Ooh, the Ogin is the Ogin. You in trouble, bro? Produced by Michael might do this. He might take out the goat. Back here. 
Uh oh. Banjo needs to definitely get a kill right now. Can't let Incineroar get get some damage on. All right, here we go. Okay. All right. And Banjo was just trying to set him up for something, but Incineroar is not here for it. Like, yo, Incineroar has been doing so good with this recovery. Like, yo, like, I ain't never seen Incineroar's recovery be this good or used this well. He's oh, yeah, four smash. Okay. Okay, here we go. Last stop. All right. Now, Banjo has to definitely mount some big offense. Good throw. All right. Wonder Wing back. Three Wonder Wings left. All right. Go to the Ooh, nice setup. Nice setup. Ooh. This is the grab. You gotta watch out for those command grabs. Good job. All right, here we go. Ooh, Lariat! Big one, big one. Ooh, nice draw. Oh, dr Ooh, that might be, Banjo might be in trouble. Banjo might be in trouble. Ooh, Banjo comes back. Wonder Wing connects. This is anybody's game. Ooh, up smash. Wait a minute. Wonder Wing, ooh, Wonder Wing called him. The Wonder Wing called him. The jump pad. Wait a minute, is it? Wait a minute. This is. Here we go. Here we go. Back here. With a brick splash. Oh, Wonder Wing. That's the last Wonder Wing. He's got no more. He's got no more. Oh, four smash. The goat. The goat holds on. That was too. Bruh. That. Meant, bruh. That was too close for comfort. Too close for comfort. That was anybody's match. But the GOAT! The Ogin. The Ogin. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta say. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. But produced by Michael, I gotta say. I gotta say. You put up one hell of a fight, bro. You put up one hell of a fight, and that could have been that could have been an Incineroar victory. But Banjo, the homie, held on. And now we got the GOAT, the Ogin, in the semifinals against Bebo. Two mofos who earned the retirement. Who 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 were tried and true in this tournament over the over the over the over the weeks and weeks. Are now gonna battle it out and see who's gonna go to the finals. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Woo! K. Rule, K. Rule versus Banjo. That's gonna be a good one. All right. Let, let's 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 see what's going on in the chat, y'all. Let's look. Honestly, this has been my favorite CPU Cup. All these it's been hell. I'm telling you, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great tournament right now. She just read the Yoga performance match, <laughs> bro. Core Kid, he's the goat. Look, he just know what to do. He know he know what he's doing out here. But look, that don't mean nothing. He ain't he, until he wins. Look, like the only wants me to ship this shit overseas, yo. I gotta ship this shit overseas to this man. I know it's about to happen. It's about to happen. All right, yo. Here we go. Nine and twelve. Wario versus Sephiroth. Now Wario with Robin Guard in tow. The unavoidable, unpredictable. You never know what's gonna happen. He could he could be he could be crazy and killing it, or he could be getting killed. But he's just playing pretty solid. But we got the real Sephiroth on our hands right now and Public Enemy B. Public Enemy B. You got the real Sephiroth playing savage, dominant, cunning, smooth, thoughtful. That's what you need, especially against someone against War someone against like Oreo. So this could go either way. Will Public Enemy B be the own the third one? Because uh, Kev's out. But Public Enemy B has also had three retirement. So will all three of the remaining uh, entrants who have had three retirement be in the semifinals? Oh, will Robert, Guard, and Wario stop that shit today? It's possible. We're going to find out. Let's go. All right. Here we go. All right, Sephiroth. Wario. All right, Sephiroth. Check in Wario early with that sword. Ooh, good block. And slaps him out of disrespect with the bike. All right. Ooh. All right, and Wario playing a good defense game, but oh, oh he's already, he's mounting damage before the things blow up. All right, right now, Wario is just holding his own. Okay, ooh, but Sephiroth is checking Wario at every opportunity. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, Sephiroth has got a commanding lead right now. Okay, Robin Guard and Wario turn this around. Okay. To the kick. Ooh, big hit. That sword is gonna definitely keep uh keep Wario in check. Because Wario definitely has to get in close to do any real damage. Ooh, Sephiroth is looking like a villain right now. Looking like a villain! Looking like a villain! Sephiroth on the board. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty, public enemy B. This might be for you. All right. Wario blocks it. All right. Throws his bike back at him. Belly flop. Wario definitely needs to get something going now. Okay. Uh oh, he's caught again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Ooh. One winged angel out. Here we go. Ooh, big four smash. Big hit for Wario. Wario on the board. All right. Okay, Wario, Wario, only 40%, well, 50%. 60, 73, okay, never mind. I shouldn't have said nothing. I shouldn't have said nothing. Anyway, I shouldn't, have, look, Wario, you in trouble, bro. <laughs> Bike out. Oh, Lord, Wario needs to do something and do something fast. Or he needs to, he, he needs to make a big mistake. One or the other. All right, Elf Shoe misses. Bike. All right, and then Sephiroth is just checking him with these range attacks. He's just playing with Wario at this point. Oh, ass gas misses it. That she should have waited on that. All right. Okay, good block. Combo from Sephiroth. Loads up the. He walked right into that shit. Point blank. Wario don't want to win. Wario don't want to win. Wario scared. Wario scared. Wario know he about to lose. Robin Guard, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It happens to the best of us. It happens to. Them. He said, "Get take your bitch ass, cheap ass bike." Uh oh. Goddamn Kawasaki. So I got, got, got a goddamn Kawasaki. Again, why couldn't Sephiroth be like this for Majestic? I don't know. I don't know. But we, you know, she's just cursed. We just know that for sure. All right, here we go. Sephiroth looking to, looking, looking to close it out. El Shoe. But that recovery from Sephiroth ain't gonna let that be a factor. Ooh, big hit. Sephiroth is playing with this man at this point. He's playing with this man. He's just having fun right now. He's just toying with Wario. Just toying with Wario. <laughs> I need to speak to a manager. <laughs> and it's a wrap. It was, it was done. Look, Robin Guard. Look. My boy. But you know what? Sephiroth! And playing today. We got the real villain today, y'all. Sephiroth moves on. Robin Guard, look. I want you to look at this title, bro. Because that's the last, this the last time you're going to see it. Because <laughs> it ain't going to you. Public Enemy B. Public Enemy B. You moving on, bruh. Look, retirement is, 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 is look, 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 you need to, look, you had to be in retirement. You had to be in retirement if you, if you wanted to succeed in life in this tournament, apparently, because we got Bebo, Diogen, and now Public Enemy B. Three out of the four retire, retirement uh, entrants in the semifinals. I can't make this up, y'all. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I can't make this up. And it just happened that way. It just happens that way. Look, that's just goes to show that the cream of the crop will always rise to the top. Actually, 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 I, I, I could say it, but hold on. 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 I, no, no. Where's it at? 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 I macho. That's what it is. I'm gonna have him say it. Unjustifiably in a position that I'd rather not be in, but the cream will rise to the top. That's what it is. Boom. <laughs> We're RIP to macho man. But yeah. With that being said, with that being said, probably gonna be congrats. In the semis, but who are you gonna take on? Because now we got two mofos left we got one who ain't here we got komodo p who i still don't see absent ass never <laughs> taking on the abuser ganon and the grandeza that wasn't right what you did the grandeza i don't know how you was gonna sleep at night with a beating like that 
that you did the the, the Bionic and Inky Boop. That wasn't right. You ain't gotta do all that. <laughs> but now here's the thing. We got Duck Hunt versus Ganon. Now you saying Duck Hunt? You never know. Because here's one thing that Duck Hunt has that Violet didn't. A whole bunch of bullshit traps and trickery. Now yes, all 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 that Ganon gotta do is just punt the damn dog and the dog gonna fly off the goddamn stage. Two hits, Duck Hunt gone. But if Duck Hunt can keep avoiding and, and, and being good on the defense, keep throwing that can out and the discus and, and checking Gannon, who knows? Who knows? How is Duck Hunt in the service? Someone picked him, Arterial, and they winning. And they winning. But will they move to the semifinals to take on Public Enemy B? about to find out. Here we go, y'all. Last match of the second round. Duck Hunt, Ganon, Kimono P versus the Grandessa. Who's going to take on Sephiroth and Public Enemy B? I kind of want, honestly, to be real, I kind of want the Grandessa to win because it'll be the battle of the villains. Like, Sephiroth versus Ganon? That might be a good fight. But you got to get through this damn dog first. Let's go. All right. All right, damn dog. One, Big Ganon. Go. All right, here we go. Good God. Already. Already. Okay, somebody call Peter. Somebody, somebody, somebody call. Somebody get, get him on, get him on, get him, get him on the line right quick. All right, look. Okay. Somebody need to play in the eyes of an angel for this dog. Look. All right, there we go. Come on, duck hunt. Show him. Show them that you going that you fight back and you bite back. Okay, there, here's the trickery I'm talking about. Here's the trick. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that can't that can't get more get more screen time than it should. Go for the stop. All right, right now, Duck Hunt is just trying to keep. It's abuse, y'all. That's what it is. It's just abuse. It's like Ganon decides. Ganon Ganon decides what he wants to be to be Ganon, and today he wants to be Ganon. Today he wants to begin. He chose violence. Look, I just, I just don't even like. Look, Sephiroth. Look, Sephiroth and and Ganon decide they want to be their real self today. But look at, look at Duck Hunt. Look at Duck Hunt trying. I respect it. He's still in this thing. Look, Duck Hunt's still in here. Duck Hunt still. Duck, Duck Hunt. Duck, Duck, Duck Hunt. Get back on the stage first of all. And you gotta kill this. You gotta, you gotta kill this. You gotta kill. Good guy. The way he even. There you go, Duck Hunt. There you go. Show him that you ain't no pushover. Show him that you ain't no pushover. Still gonna lose. You still, you still gonna lose. The grind doesn't get ready for stuff around. Good God. Good God. Can you pet the dog? Yeah, in the cemetery. Bell, when it's, after it's been killed, after it's dead. <laughs> You can, you can go visit that, 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 that. Look, don't come, duck hunt. Just stop. Just don't come back. It ain't worth it, bruh. It ain't worth it. Look, pride ain't everything. Pride, pride, pride is no reason to continue to be abused like this. Come on, it ain't worth it, bruh. Just leave. Just, just fall. Just fall, dude. Like it ain't. Come on now. I mean, I expected it, but come on now. Ganon ain't never played like, right? Look, look, they know what's at stake. Look, it's like, I got a feeling, y'all, like these characters just know that something is on the line in this tournament. Something special is on the line. Don't, I don't know how. Maybe I'm in tune with the game or the Switch. I don't know. But these characters are all playing like themselves today. All these characters who have, in the past, may, may have phoned it in. On some tournaments, ain't nobody phoning it in today. Nah, ain't nobody phoning it in today. And with that being said, the Grandeza, you are in the semifinals. And I'm happy about this because everybody in the semifinals is currently in the chat now. That way, you can be here when you when you win this motherfucker. With that being said, come on, OP. The damn dog tried, but I mean, look, look at this man. Look, look, look again. He looks like he's just ready to. He look like he ready to fuck somebody else up right now. He like, 
Next person that say something, getting this, getting this work, and I believe him. I believe him. Sephiroth, you better be ready for this. And y'all, we have a semi-finals. Woo! Okay, y'all, semi-finals are locked down. Three of the four competitors in the semi-finals have all been in retirement and are the best performing entrants in the CPU Cup. But however, DeGrandessa has won two. Yeah. DeGrandessa has won two. So all of these are multi-time champions. We can't make this up. We got, we, 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 I mean, look, we probably got the cream of the crop right here. I'm not even going to hold you. So... Now it's time to see if if the battle of good and evil will win. A lot of villains in here, y'all. We got three villains and one hero. And I'm not talking about that other hero that we hate. We got at the fourth spot, Bebo, 513, with the demon slaying, Kong killing King K. Rule, who has been on fire in this tournament. However, we got my homie and the GOAT, the Ogin, with Banjo Kazooie, who took out Terry, who took out, I forgot who he fought last, but took them out too. And uh, has the ability, oh, Incineroar, excuse me, has the ability, has the ability to take out Kane. Now, now, mind you, I believe they fought last tournament, and K. Rule got the best of Banjo. Because Banjo was supposed to win, but the recovery was a factor. I wonder, with this rematch, has Banjo learned anything? And can he finally get that dub over K. Rule? Or will K. Rule rule over Banjo as well and take Bebo to the finals? Everybody in this bracket now are one, are two matches, or two steps closer to this. Three Hunter and this. So let's get it, y'all. Semi-final match. Bebo 513. Diogen. King K. Rule versus Banjo-Kazooie. Who going to the finals? Let's go. Yep, King K. Rule took out the Demon Arterial. First round. And now you're looking to get to the finals. All right, here we go. K. Rule, Banjo. All right. Now they both got projectiles that are crazy. They both can check each other with projectiles. Okay. Here we go. Checking them with the... Okay, belly flop off the stage. All right, boomstick. Okay, goes to the belly flop, trying to edge guard him. Down stomp, hands on him. Okay, right now it's looking good for Bebo. Okay, nice roll to the, ooh, doubles up on doubles up on the, on the great. Down throw, loving the offense from Banjo right here. Another, another one, another one. Okay, okay. Banjo's gotta go for kills and nothing else. Nothing else, kills and nothing else. He cannot go for recovery plays. Cause we already know what the recovery is like for uh, K. Rule. Wonder Wing connects at the tail end. Not enough juice in that one. But enough to get him on his, okay, crown out. Wonder Wing kill, get out! Okay, all right, Banjo might have, may, may, may have figured out the game plan this time around. Another Wonder Wing hits. Off the stage. All right, Bebo in trouble. Ooh, that armor though. All right, K. Rule on the board. I got that K, another Wonder Wing. All right, these things are connecting. As long as, as long as Banjo keeps connecting these Wonder Wings, we are in good shape. All right, very nice. Very nice. Am I sending this thing overseas? Am I sending this thing overseas? Bro, I'm not even gonna lie. If Banjo wins the Champions Cup, I'd be, I'd be, low, I'd be happy. Because that means that, of course, my homie, Banjo, uh, who else, why wouldn't I want them to win? All right, here we go. And it would just solidify the GOAT as the GOAT. Okay. Right now, he's still got to get through. One of the Wonder Wing. These Wonder Wings are connecting flawlessly. Okay, wait. Wait a minute. Okay, another one. Ooh, big punch. K. Rule's still here, though. He's checking him. Checking him off the stage. Again, that recovery. Anybody else would be dead. This is all about... The Wonder Wings are working. The Wonder Wings are connecting every single one. The Ogin, you one step closer, bruh. You want... Look, Banjo, Banjo did his homework. Wait a minute. Wait, he could have come back. That might have, that, that might have cost him. That might have cost Banjo. That might 
That might have cost Banjo. Wonder Wing hits again. Oh. Wait a minute. Okay, Banjo still, Banjo still got it. All right. Okay. Banjo can't throw it. Boo! I right, Banjo ain't throwing. But Banjo need to stay off that edge. Stay away from that edge. Banjo, play smart. Play smart. This is your match. This is your match. Come on. Oh, yo. The intensity level, y'all. Oh, big punch. Off the stage. Come on. Come on. Oh! 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 From the bike! The one away from the bike! There go! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! Come on! Wing off the stage from the bike. That's my nigga. That's my homie. Bebo. I, bruh, you can't be mad at that performance. K. Rule came through and did his thing. But Banjo got his win back. Banjo did his homework. Banjo knew he had to be more aggressive. And he had to go for it. And with the GOAT, with the power of the GOAT, brings Diogen to the finals of the Champions Tournament. <sighs> One more for Diogen, and I'm sending this thing across the pond. Am I sending this thing across the pond? Diogen, you want me to pay a hell of grip. You want me to pay a grip for this, to send this over, right? That's what you're trying to do. But can we be mad if Diogen wins this, y'all? I mean, he's proved himself. Time and time again that he's one of the best, if not the best, in this tournament. And he just took out arguably second best in Bebo. Bruh. One more for Diogen. Bebo. Commendable performance. K. Rule came through, slayed the demon, took out Kev and DK. But Banjo was the one. Banjo and the power of the Wonder Wing. And I wonder if you know what that means. Yes, it means Diogen is in the finals once again. But... He slayed one villain. He's got one more villain to slay. And will it be Ganon or Sephiroth? We about to find out now. Good God. All right, y'all. 12 and fitting. Public Enemy B, the Grandeza. The battle of the abusive villains. Bruh. <laughs> Diogen did some voodoo shit in this tournament. We about to find out sober. We about to find out who Diogen gonna face in the finals. Public Enemy B with the Sephiroth who's been playing great. Hyper aggressive, super smart, looking scary. But I'm gonna tell you also looking scary with the big hits that make you, you, you feel them in your soul when he hits people. I'm talking about Big Ganon. Ganondorf with the Grandeza. Now, the Grandeza Took out Icky Boop. Took out Kimono P. Now he's going against Sephiroth and Public Enemy B, who is the only other character, only other entrant with a three tireman. The Grandeza has only two championships. So, will it be, will his third chip, will his third chip be this one? Will that third time be the charm and will the Grandeza go into the finals and be battling for this. Or will Public Enemy B avenge his B-team brethren? Bebo. With uh, a victory and a finals appearance against the GOAT. We're going to find out, y'all. Sephiroth, Ganon, the fight of the arguably two of the greatest villains in gaming history. But there can be only one to take on Banjo and the GOAT deal. Let's go. Boom. <laughs> he said, avenge me. <laughs> Public Enemy B, you got to avenge your, your, your tag team partner. All right, here we go. All right. Here we go. No music, just fighting. No music, just fighting. We, we underwater in the bubbles. All right. Right now, they're checking each other. Oh, Ganon. With the Ganon is a... Okay. Sephiroth need to realize who he fighting. He better, he better get it in. 
Okay. All right, step her up. All that finesse don't work. Yo. Again, and punch niggas. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. Sephiroth is trying to just keep keep, keep Ganon from... There we go. He's checking Ganon out. Yo. Ooh. 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 All right. Sephiroth waking up. Sephiroth playing a, a mental game. Ganon's playing just a brute force game. What the block? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Puppy enemy be on the board. Uh-oh. The grind does. He might be in trouble. Sephiroth might have his number. Okay, here we go. Kick. Ooh, -hoo! big hit from Ganon. All right, it's, it's tied up. All right, here we go. T-bag Ganon. Yeah, look, look, Sephiroth is disrespectful. You know how it is. All right, ooh, shoulder tackle. Ooh, misses that big hit. Okay, Sephiroth is trying to set him up. You know, trying to trying to wait, wait for his moment to strike. Right, here we go. There we go. Ooh, nice back fist. So you can see that both of them are, have game plans. Ganon is trying to rush in and just be aggressive. Sephiroth is trying to pick his spots, play the mental game, and make Ganon make mistakes. One wing and angel was out. Ooh, Ganon misses that. Ooh, nice up smash. Ooh, up air. Another up air. Juggling him. Juggling him. Treat him like a clown. Ooh, back throw. Ooh, the sword misses. All right, all right. Ooh, nice back air. All right, one more to go, and Puppet gonna be playing in the final, excuse me. All right, the Grandeza needs Ganon to wake up. Big kick, this is the big kick. That would've hurt. Okay. Ooh, uh-oh, it's not looking good right now for the Grandeza at all. Ganon needs to get a hit now. Okay, Okay. back throw, okay, back throw off the stage. Ooh, this is the, this is the punch. One weekend angel is out again. That's not a good look. Nice parry. Ooh, four dash. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Is it going to be two socks? Is it going to be two socks? Oh, back fist again. Okay. 88%. Now, a couple big hits from Ganon. He can get this stock. He can still get this stock. Sephiroth cannot let up with his game plan. It is working. Uh-oh, off the stage. Here we go. Sephiroth, kill territory. One more big hit. Daddy, the sword, good lord. <laughs> Sephiroth. <laughs> Woo. Sephiroth. Look at him walking into the fire. Walking into the flames. He's walking his way into the championship match right now. He's like, who's next? A bear and a bird? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. If Majestic would have had a Sephiroth like that. I mean, she probably still would have ended up in the tournament and lost. But doesn't matter. I'm just saying she would have ended up in this tournament. Point is this. DeGrandeza. Ganon fought. But he wasn't fighting with this. He was only fighting with this. And for Sephiroth, that's all he needed to do. It was a mental game. And Sephiroth came out on top. And that means Public Enemy B, you are in the finals. Two. You have avenged Bebo. Or you will avenge Bebo, maybe. But you have a chance to avenge your tag team partner in the B team, Bebo. And we got two two finalists who have earned three retirement. Arguably two of the best of all time. Whew. This is going to be crazy, y'all. It's going to be crazy. But look, I am I, send, am I sending this across the pond, or am I just sending this down the street? Not down the street. I don't know where you live, I'm going to find out. We're probably going to be but we're going to find out. You, I know you in this country. All right, y'all. Y'all, this has been an amazing tournament. A lot of ups. A lot of downs. A lot of upsets. A lot of scenarios where we didn't think things would go through the way that they did. But in the end, in the end, two of the best of all time, two people who have tasted victory over and over and over again are about to duke it out for the ultimate prize to really see who is the best. Diogen, Public Enemy B, $300 and this motherfucker. This motherfucker, the undisputed, the undisputed 
CPU Cup Championship. Actually, you know what? I gotta hold this up the right way. I gotta hold it up. This is on the line, y'all. On the line. Look, y'all. I'm proud. I'm proud of what we've done here. I'm proud of what we've accomplished to get to this point. And no matter who wins, y'all, whether it be Diogen or Public Enemy B, I just want y'all to know that I'm proud of everybody and I'm proud of what this tournament has become and we're, what, what we managed to do here on Twitch and the community we built with the CPU Cup. I really am. So, whoever, whoever is crowned the undisputed CPU Cup champion is more than deserving because they've been here since the beginning. They've put in that work. They've won multiple times. They've proven themselves as viable champions. So it's only right to have two of the best battle it out for this for this title. I can't be more than I can't, I can't be more than happy to see who's in the finals right now, y'all, to be honest. So with that said, let's not waste no more time. We got the GOAT, the Ogun, and Banjo Kazooie taking on one half of the greatest tag team in CPU Cup history, the B team in Public Enemy B. Who is going to take this title in $300 home today? And who is going to just sit and wish and wonder what went wrong? It's time, y'all, for the Smash Ultimate CPU Cup Champions Tournament Finals. Who going to get this money and who going to get this title? Let's go. Oh, it's time. Let's get it. All right, the homie Banjo, the villain Sephiroth, the Ogun, public enemy B. Let's get it. All right. All right now, grenade out. All right, grenade eggs out. Checking them. Checking them. All right. The Ogun, hoping Banjo can, can, can do some work with the grenades. Hope those Wonder Wings are in tow and ready to go. Oh, good. Oh, good block with the Wonder Wing. Okay, come, recovery check from, from Sephiroth. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay, Banjo does, I love how Banjo does his homework. Banjo ain't scared, he's played smart. All right, this is gonna be a game of mental, of mental fortitude. It's gonna be a game of setups, setups and traps. One winged angel out, jump pad out. Okay, here we go, good grab, spikes him. Ooh, back air, Banjo looking good. It's looking good for the goat. Is it going overseas? Is it going overseas? Uh oh, okay. Okay, Sephiroth loads it up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. One Winged Angel was still out. Wonder Wings are still available. Okay, bomb hit. Sephiroth in the kill territory. One, one, ooh, Wonder Wing misses. Ooh, clash. Here we go. Ooh, all right, good checks. Good checks from Banjo. Back here again. All right, here we go. Good grab. Back throw, Banjo on the board. The Ogun on the board. Okay. Hope gonna be beat. Needs to get Sephiroth. Needs Sephiroth needs to get on the board. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. And I'm loving the zoning. The zoning from Banjo was keeping Sephiroth kind of out of his game a little bit. Okay, here we go. What's gonna happen? Locks it. Wonder Wing. He's baiting him. The baits are, are working. The baits are working against Sephiroth. Uh-oh, Public Enemy B is in trouble. In big trouble. Oh, with the Blicky. Okay, Wonder Wings are missing now. One more left in this, one more left. One Winged Angel back out. Public Enemy B is in trouble. He definitely needs to get on, he needs to get on the board now. Now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Banjo was just playing smart with the checks. The checks and balances, okay. Okay, doesn't kill, doesn't kill. Goes for the slide, Banjo still here, there it is. Okay, Public Enemy B on the board. Okay, Sephiroth needs a gang of damage right now, a gang of damage. Uh-oh. Okay, going up. Here we go, throw with the bomb. Sephiroth is in trouble, and kill tier, ooh, four smash would have definitely killed. Okay. Down spike, there he is, there he is. There's the villain. 
Okay. Goes the bomb. He has the bomb in hand. With the blicky. Back air. He is shit. He is. Banjo was playing such a smart, a smart, calm game. A smart, calm game. The setups are crazy. Blocks it. Misses it. Back air. Oh my god. One more. One more for the goat. One more for the goat. Uh oh. Wonder Wing on the way back. Okay. Checks him. Yo, it's poetic. If he if Diogen does this, it's poetic. It's poetic. Okay. Here we go. Back here. Clash. Banjo's in kill territory. Ooh, big punch. Grabs him. Off the stage. Here we go. Down spike. One weekend angel out. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Send it overseas. I got it. I'm about to send it overseas. Unless a miracle happens. Okay, goes for the slide. Here we go. Banjo just waiting for that one one opportunity. He just needs one Wonder Wing and it's a wrap. Oh, blocks it. Okay. Also, back there! The goals! <laughs> That's why he's the goat! The goat! <laughs> he did it! He did it! <laughs> the goat! I coined him. I coined this man the goat months ago. I coined this man the goat months ago. And he proved it. And not only did he prove it, he proved it with my boy. He proved it with the homie. The Ogin. What more can I say, bruh? You've been here since the beginning. You've been here since the beginning. You designed the flyers for the CPU Cup. You've been here since day one. Day one. And you scratched and clawed. And when you got your first victory, you was off to the races, man. It was off to the races. And you just kept showing out. Finals appearance after finals appearance. Stats was crazy. Win after win. <laughs> you were the GOAT. You were the GOAT. Now, the has been defeated, yes. But he's won the most championships. This, wait, Dio, is this number six? Is this your sixth one? Are you Jordan, right? Is this number six? Number, this is his sixth win. Number six. He's Jordan. Jordan numbers, y'all. He is Jordan numbers right now. And look what he got to take home. Look what he got to take home. Now, Diogen, I know. I know, I know you're not much of a photo dude. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta show us. But when you when you when I send this overseas to you and, and it arrives, you gotta take a picture with it, bro. You got at least at least around your waist. At least on your shoulder, chin up, just so I can know. So, so they can know. But bro. Six championships. Six championships. And the Ogan has pretty much entered every CPU cup we've ever done. Almost damn near over 25 of them. And he's won six. <laughs> the term we call the Diogen Cup. <laughs> Look, it might as well be. But I gotta say, before I get into it, public enemy B, you fought valiantly. Sephiroth tried, but this wasn't this wasn't this this wasn't written in the cards for you. I coined Diogen the GOAT for a reason. Because it was all leading up to this moment. For him to prove and solidify himself as the greatest of all time. And smash ultimate CPU Cup history, and this is just this this just proves it. So whenever you see this man in the streets, whenever you address this man on any social media, you call him the Goat, cause that's who he is. Theogen, Big Dub, number six, three Hunter, and the undisputed, undisputed. Smash Ultimate CPU Championship title. Bruh. It's upside down. I fucked it up. I fucked it up.
That's you. That's you. Congrats, Diogo. Diogo, how do you feel? I need a speech, bro. I need a speech. Come on, now. This ain't normal. What you've done, what you've accomplished isn't normal, bro. What you've accomplished is not regular. You got to say something to the people. You got to say something to the people. This is amazing. This is amazing. You're honestly surprised. You're surprised, bro. You might, don't, ain't, ain't, this ain't the time to be humble, Diogo. You've been humble too long, okay? You've been humble this whole time. You are the greatest of all time. You are the GOAT. You have the most championship victories. You have won the Champions Cup. Bruh, you got the title. You got the title. I gotta send this across the pond. Big shipping charges. Big shipping charges, yo. <laughs> Bruh. Look, look. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, look, I don't, I don't know what else to say, bro. But look, you gotta pay. The <laughs> you gotta pay the touch spots to him. Play that transform. Play that transform music. <laughs> I ain't trying to get. I ain't trying to get DMC, bro. For you, I ain't getting DMC, <laughs> bro. The Ogan got the Ogan wins, yo. The Ogan wins. And with that being said, we gotta pay this man like the look, 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 three hundred coming your way. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do. It. Well, not well. It's it's whatever three hundred in your uh in your currency is. I, I I can't do the math off the top of my head, but we're about to get you right, Diogen. We're about to get you right, Diogen. Unbelievable. Uh, unbelievable. Diogen is the winner of the Smash Ultimate Champions Cup for the CPU Cup, bruh. Can't, can't, can't make it up. Can't make it up even if I wanted to. Can't make it up. Hold on. Let me see if I can find... Hold on. I want to see if I can find a gold emoji. Hold on. If I can find a gold emoji... I'm putting it in there. Hold on, hold on. Cause I'm using. Wait, hold on, hold on. There it is. There it is. All right. All right, y'all. It's time, y'all. It's time. Diogen, you ready? Here we go. Send. Uh, sending. 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 Wi Fi trash. It's gone. Diogen, check the PayPal, fam. Check the pay to the pal. It's gone. Bruh. And I will be sending this to you this week. So this week, Diogen, I'm gonna send it out to you. Now, how long it take to get to you? I'll let you know. I'll, I'll hit you up, 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 up in private and let you know when you get it. But when you get it, you better show it off. You better show it off. You know. And uh, with that being said, y'all, the tournament is it, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Back to the land of a thousand hours. Wow. Wow. Look at this beautiful thing. This beautiful thing is gonna be heading the other way. All right, you won this one for the European viewers. You did it. You did it. You did it for the UK. You did it for the UK. All right. Okay, y'all. So look, the CPU Cup, Champions Cup, is in the books. Now, I know what you're wondering. Well, Granddad, where do, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Well, y'all. I think it's time to switch it up a little bit. It's time. It's time. It's time to give, give, give Smash Ultimate a little bit of a break. It's, it's done its job. It solidified itself, and and what what the CPU Cup is, and we have a champion now. And I want Diogo to be able to um, enjoy this title for a while. So with that being said, the CPU Cup will continue. But now we're going to switch up the game. I talked about it way back, and 
We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna switch it up to something. And we're gonna be doing a Soul Calibur 6 CPU run now. Soul Calibur 6, y'all. CPU cups are going to go down. The new season. The new season is Soul Calibur. This is the season finale, y'all. The season finale. This was the season finale. Now, that's not to go and say that this is over. Smash is not going to be done, but we got this is our season finale. And now it's time to move on to the next one. New characters, new game, new rivalries, new storylines, new everything. Who's going to be the GOAT of the Soul Calibur CPU Cup Series? And here's the thing. When's it going to start? When's it going to start? I don't know. How does, uh... How does, uh... How does that... What's today's date? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How does, uh... Hmm. Let me look at my schedule. How does Juneteenth sound? Let's have a little Juneteenth celebration by kicking off the new season of the CPU Cup. June 19th, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Actually, actually, yeah, we'll do that. Juneteenth, y'all. I feel, I feel like we're going to do it then. So look out for it. Juneteenth. The Soul Calibur CPU Cup will begin in the new season. Rules, how it's going to work, how it's going to go, all that will be unveiled in, in, in due time, very soon. And guess what, y'all? It's going to be the same things that are going to apply. Champions are going to be crowned. Three retirements are still going to be in effect. All these things are going to be, be laid out. And we're going to end up with another Champions Cup down the line. And... Do y'all want me to make another belt for it? Y'all want another title? I can make another strap. I can, I can switch up the colors, switch up the scheme. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like these straps? Y'all want to keep going for the straps? Y'all want to do that? I'm down with it. I'm with it. Who want to get the next strap? What What if, Dio, what if I make a new strap and Diogen win again? He, and he going to be Diogen two belts. He going to be Diogen two belts. I might do that. Make it a sword... <laughs> what am I gonna do with a sword? <laughs> what you gonna do walking around with a sword? <laughs> oh, yeah, I won this joint. <laughs> I might keep the straps. I like the straps, y'all. The straps are clean. I ain't gonna, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's too expensive to ship. A sword is, is dang, it, yeah. And I gotta, I gotta like protect it. Yeah, yeah. Swords are a little. It'd be, it'd be cool, but we, we, we'll stay with the straps. We'll stay with the strap. So we'll do that. So Juneteenth, y'all. I'll let y'all know what time. Uh, but yeah, it might be, a, and I might, I might kick it off as a, as a nighttime. It won't be at three o'clock. Might be later in the day. I might make it like a prime time slot, like a seven p.m. scenario. But but we'll see, we'll see. But y'all, we gonna get out of here. Diogen, congrats again for becoming the undisputed Smash Ultimate CPU Cup champion. The title will be shipped to you this week. Make sure you show it off when you get it. Enjoy the 300 or it's like it's like two something in your currency. But enjoy it. I'm pretty sure you can do something good with it. And uh, season one of the CPU Cup is in the book, y'all. Season two begins on Juneteenth with Soul Calibur 6. Get ready for it because it's going to be insane. It's going to be insane. All right. Yeah. Maj look, I, feel like, I feel like Soul Calibur. Look, look, we might get a queen. We might get a queen in Soul Calibur. That might be the game. But we got a raid now, y'all. Let's raid. Let's see who is live. Send y'all over to somebody. Who is live? Who is live? Who is live? Who is live? Uh, we gonna send. Actually, you know what? Because because he's the goat and he's the winner. Diogen, I'm gonna let you pick who we raid. We gonna let the champ pick today. Diogen, who we raiding? Who we ra champ? Who we raiding today? Who we gonna raid today, champ? You know what I'm saying? All right, yeah, let's let the, let's let the champ pick. All right, producer Michael, appreciate you coming through. Appreciate everybody, all of y'all for watching, uh, participating in this tournament, uh, making it what it is. I'm, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I'm glad that you brought it to this point. And I hope to see y'all in season two for Soul Calibur. 
because it's going to be even more fun. It's going to be even more craziness, more storylines to come, and all craziness. I mean, I can't wait. I can't wait. Juneteenth, y'all. It's, it's kicking it off. Kicking it off at Juneteenth. All right. So we waiting. Pedro Diaz, you stream ring or something? Y'all be. All right, Bruce Lomax. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right. Come on. Come on now, Dio. See now, see now, Dio getting a champion. Dio getting a champion. He's taking his time, right? He acting on, he acting on Roman Reigns. Okay, I can't pronounce that. I'm just going to copy it. All right, so I think it says Peanut the... Peanut the Kidnapper. <laughs> Nigga, what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to see. Hold on. Peanut the Kidnapper. Okay, okay. You know what? Just because that name is hilarious. And, and they're playing Knockout City. All right, so we're going to rate Peanut the Kidnapper. Look, I'm with it. I'm only rocking a mask. All right, look, I'm with it. All right, we gonna raid Peanut the Kidnapper, y'all. Word to the goat and the champ, the Ogin. So tell him you came from the land of a thousand hours. He's playing Knockout City. Don't game. I tell him you came from the land of a thousand hours. And the, the raid message is, the Ogin is the goat. That's the raid message. The Ogin is the goat. All right, y'all. Y'all be easy. Y'all have a great rest of your weekend. I will see y'all on Monday for more Returnal. We gonna, I'm, we gonna, we gonna be, I, I'm, I'm ready for the second boss finally. We're gonna beat him. And uh, more stuff in the following week. And I will see y'all back for season two of the CPU Cup Series, Juneteenth, for Soul Calibur 6. All right, y'all. Granddaughter, the homie Yoshi, Smash Ultimate, season one in the books. The GOAT prevails. And uh, hey, who's gonna be the next one? We'll find out. Enjoy Peanut the Kidnapper, and I will see y'all later. Peanut be, peanut be playing single player games, so it's hard to be toxic in single player games.